Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. Hello. Happy Tuesday. A disembodied voice. Where? It's Shredder. <laughs> God? It's me, Dodger. Hello. Hi, everybody. <sighs> Once I started stretching, I had to just commit to a full ass stretch, so. <laughs> you sound shorter than I thought you'd be. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Welcome. How are we all doing today? I had the roughest morning with my kid that I have had in a very, very long time. It was, it was a lot of stuff going wrong, both of us apologizing, and then stuff immediately going wrong again, and both of us apologizing. <laughs> she cried the entire way to school. I was like, oh my goodness. So I think we're going to see how she's feeling when she gets home. But if she still seems very out of sorts, I'm probably just going to be like, bro, just stay home tomorrow. <laughs> I'll call up the school mental health day. Obviously there's something going on here and we just need to, to chill, you know? Like we just need to hang out on the couch, uh, you know, play some Zelda, reset, and then go back to school. So, so we'll see, we'll see. When I'm close to having my period, I run into days where I can't tell if I'm the problem or not. <laughs> it's simplest for me to assume that I am, but it's really difficult for me to look at situations objectively because everything annoys the shit out of me, right? So Clark having a pretty normal amount of pushback on a thing or or being kind of a normal amount of frustrating in the morning nearly nearly bleeding me might really have a rough time with that versus any other time of month me you know so occasionally Clark and I will be just like not vibing, not communicating super well. And Sam will have to pull me aside and be like, you are being so mean for no reason. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm not being mean, okay? She's the one who's being mean. And then I'm reacting, okay? <laughs> and he's like, I think maybe. <laughs> I think maybe. I'm, I'm going to hang out with Clark. <laughs> you take a second you know, we'll reconvene. <laughs> <coughs> she started it. Yeah, it's very she started it sometimes. And I'm like, I'm the adult. I'm the adult in this situation. I'm always really good about saying sorry. I will give myself credit for that. If I've been unreasonable, if I've been snippy with her, I always take the time to say sorry. But it sucks that it happened anyway, you know? It, it sucks to look at myself a few minutes later and be like, Jesus, dude, calm down. <laughs> I'm also in this picture and I don't like it. I used to be, <coughs> I used to be the sort of person, I'm not like other girls, I used to be the sort of person that would be like, yeah, you know, I know a lot of people that experience, you know, like mood swings um, when they're menstruating, but like, I totally don't, you know, I'm just like super chill all the time. <laughs> 
And as I've gotten older and had an easier time of like connecting with how I'm actually feeling, um, stuff it it I'm I can acknowledge I can totally acknowledge and look at myself and be like, no, I'm an irritable mean mess sometimes. <clears throat> have fun explaining all this to Clark in a few years. I already have. We, I talk about pretty much anything with Clark. Clark knows in, in a very age appropriate way um, that I bleed, why I bleed, what's happening in my body to cause that. Um, and sometimes when I'm like this, when I'm more irritable, I'll explain to her like all that stuff that's going on. There's a bunch of chemicals in my body that make my brain act different. And sometimes I will be more frustrated, more irritable. I'll be more snippy. Um, it, you know, it's it it's an unfortunate situation. It happens, you know. <laughs> <clears throat> they do. Kids are so observant, and it sucks sometimes. They like. Clark 100% will pick up on my energy. <laughs> if I'm like frustrated, it'll put her on edge and she'll act out more, right? And it's, it is hard to be like, I did this. <laughs> Instead of being like this fucking kid, <laughs> you know? <coughs> <laughs> you can yeah and I think I think when if I say to someone like yeah Clark knows what a period is the initial response is like she doesn't need to know that yet she exists in the same house as me dude <laughs> you know like, and kids don't understand privacy at all. You, you teach them over time, but like, she knows that shit's going on with my body sometimes, right? And I'm not gonna be like, no, there's nothing different or weird happening to me. I just need to be in the bathroom for a very long time. <laughs> it's, I also feel like people should feel more comfortable talking about just like totally normal body stuff. Um, so maybe maybe it'll make it seem less like a, a weird, vague thing if we're just talking about it from early on. It's the period fairy. Yeah. The be <laughs> Gross. <laughs> I would not want to be that fairy, dude. Uh, yeah, uh, there's also, you know, like I've, I've told this story before, but I'll tell it again because at this point now I think it's funny. Sometimes when you're really upfront with your kid about stuff that's going on with your body and their body, um, they'll just say shit when you're surrounded by people. Like when the whole family went to a Peter Rabbit thing and I was like, oh, I need to go to the toilet. And Clark said something along the lines of, right, because when you pee, it burns because your pee is infected, right? And I was like, yep, that's exactly right. <laughs> yep, correct. <laughs> And now the whole family also knows that. I appreciate that. Clark, thank you. <laughs> yeah. And like the best thing you could do is just is just be like, mm-hmm. You know, like <laughs> cause it would be confusing for her if I was like, don't what are you what are you doing? You know.
Yeah, exactly. It was a moment for her to be like, oh, I remember why mommy needs to go to the bathroom so much. It's because her pee's infected. And I'm going to inform her that I remembered that, that I was paying attention. And I go, mm hmm. Good memory. <laughs> I have to be super transparent with my period stuff because I only get it like twice a year and man, I get mean and I have to apologize a lot. My, uh, my sister, my sister's mood swings are like really intense or at least they used to be when she was younger. <clears throat> and she unfortunately passed that on to her children. So <laughs> she was like, fortunately, I was able to help my kids, you know, with it, but... Probably TMI, but I have a UTI at the moment of the first course of antibiotics did nothing. Almost every time I have a UTI, FYI, there, there are people that are more susceptible, more or less susceptible to UTIs. Um, so some people get them often and sometimes people will make a whole lot of assumptions about why they're getting them so often. And it's, it, it, you can be as careful as possible, taking as good a care of yourself as possible. And if you're just really susceptible to them, you just get them anyway. And it, and it sucks. Anyways, before a bunch of people are like, ew, you get UTIs. <laughs> yeah, dude, they suck. Anyways, nearly every time I get one and I get put on antibiotics, the first round doesn't do shit. <laughs> I'm always like, why is that? Why is that? Why can't we just knock it out? <laughs> I don't understand. I get them all the time and I've done nothing of interest. <clears throat> when I was younger, one of the reasons that I never ever took baths and why I still don't really take them super often is if you're really susceptible to them, sometimes baths can trigger them. So I was like, cool, no baths for me then. Cause every time I took a bath, I would get just like a little inkling of one and I'd be like, mm -mm. Some urologists say that people who get frequent UTIs are colonized with bacteria, so it's not due to hygiene, and sometimes the bacteria just like to throw random parties. That's interesting. A long time ago, I was told by a doctor that it might have to do with just, like, everybody's undercarriage is, like, assembled different, right? <laughs> like, you know, and, and, like, some things are bigger, some things are smaller. Uh, so depending on uh, what's going on, you can, you can, it can be easier or not as easy for bacteria to get in different places. <clears throat> but that's interesting. I don't like the idea that I'm colonized with bacteria, but it, it also, <laughs> for some reason, also might make me feel like, well, I guess I'll just do my best then to, to, uh, you know, quell the, the bacteria beast <laughs> inside of me. <laughs> yes, I also, <laughs> speaking of us um, talking really openly about body stuff, uh, welcome, welcome to the party. Um, I also get, uh, less of them depending on if I'm using um, tampons or pads. Also, uh, changing up um, how I wash in the shower made a huge difference. There's just all sorts of stuff, uh, taking, not taking baths anymore. Um, if I go swimming, immediately taking my bathing suit off, right? Just like, there's just like a freaking laundry list of shit.
<clears throat> yeah, when I was in college and not sexually active at all, not doing anything exciting, right? <laughs> Just living my life. Um, I had them all the time, all the time. And I was miserable. And I tried like normal antibiotics. I tried all kinds of like, you know, uh, uh, naturopathic sort of options, just chugging cranberry juice all the time. And I just kept getting them. And I was like, what is this? That was definitely the worst time, like time period for me for UTIs. Uh, yeah. Oh my God, I had one turn into a kidney and bladder infection while I was on a flight. No. Interstitial cystitis? Hold on. <laughs> I wanna look this up. Oh, interesting. Don't Google that now. I did. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's another one. Yes, you're absolutely right. That was another thing was... Um, Wearing synthetic underwear, got them all the time when I wore synthetic underwear and stopped getting them as often when I started wearing only cotton. Cause the breathe, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, dude, but hey, I'm not a doctor, but I have had, uh, I guess, chronic UTIs before in my life. So if you have problems with UTIs, try any of these things. <sighs> I'm excited to play Small Saga today. I think it's going to be fun. Um, we're going to be starting over from the beginning. I don't know if it's going to be like, would you like to continue from where you were at after the demo? Um, but we'll, we'll start over completely so that it's like a fresh playthrough. Small Saga is a, um, turn-based RPG, kind of an old school style RPG, uh, that takes place under the city of London. And it's all about, um, uh, you play as, as rodents, rodents that live under London, uh, and the whole like world and society that they have. And then, and, uh, and you go on an adventure. Um, I will give you a heads up that this game is really sad right at the start. <laughs> a really sad thing happens really early on. Um, so uh, just, just so you know, <laughs> just so you know what you're getting into. Uh, it sounds like it's a cute game. The art is great, uh, but it's actually very dark. <laughs> and that became apparent really quickly in the demo. So just so you know. <clears throat> <laughs> Cute. Lie. <laughs> Maybe it'll be different this time. Don't say that. Shall we get it open? Shall we get cracking, dude? 
<clears throat> um, oh, let me adjust the title as well. Uh, Manda's out of town, so we're not going to be doing For the King tonight. I was going to see... Oh. Oh, Worldless is still open. Oops. <laughs> I was like, what the hell is that? Not what we wanted. Is that better? Or it's still too loud? Yeah? Okay. All righty. Let's swap to Small Saga. And there are no voices in this game, so... I will be voicing everybody. Shadows off. Oh, yeah, why did I do that? <laughs> I'm not sure why I did that. Spling. have to move myself. I'm not sure where, though. The Under River. What manner of vermin lurks beneath our feet? Why did you turn off the shadows? I turned them back on. I did it by accident. Come on, Verm. Keep up. doing my best, Lance, but your legs are twice the size of mine. This won't do it all. Here's an idea. Why don't you take the lead for a bit? You think I'm ready? I have no doubt. According to Dad's letter, we just follow the arrows. They point the way to the god's food hoard. So just keep following the path. We should hit it in no time. Okay, I can do this. Stay on my tail, bro. Mouse Warrior Pro tip. Hold X to run and press C to open the menu. Can I use the controller? I can. Fantastic. Menu. Run. Great. What a weird bridge. Looks like the Under River rat handiwork. It's crude, but it should hold. Under River rats? Do you think there are any around right now? It's possible. We didn't bring our weapons just for show. Are you scared? A little. That's okay. There's no shame in feeling fear. All mice feel it. All mice? Even Blade Master Leo? The game is still a bit loud. Even Leo. No way! Let me know if that's better. I found a peanut. Hey Lance, check it out. Someone stashed a peanut. 
Nice find. You should hold on to it in case you feel weak later. But don't get too full. There'll be plenty more food where we're heading. I can almost smell it. Items can be equipped from the equip menu. Once a food item has been equipped, it can be used in battle. Oh no, rats! Not another step, you two, or else you'll have to face the combined wrath of Bri... B B Bri? <laughs> the combined wrath of Bri and... Hey, art boy, we got company. Get with the program. Stilton! No, not another step, you two. Or else you'll have to... Yeah, we did that part already. Rest assured, sirs. We'll make no trouble. My brother and I are just passing through. It ain't that easy. This is a troll road, you see. Don't you mean a tall road? It's a little bit of both, if we're being perfectly honest. Ten seeds each to pass. Pay up. We're not paying you flea-bitten losers. Diddly squat. Now, now, Verm. Let's show some decorum. Sirs, I'm afraid my brother and I have no seeds on our persons. Perhaps you'll be so kind as to let us through anyway. No seeds, huh? Do you smell that, Stilton? I think I do, Bree. It's the smell of a liar. Let's gut these two and scrounge the seeds from their corpses. Just remember your training, Vern. Attack them till they fall down. Exactly. Okay. Swipe at you. Shoo! My boy! <laughs> Camera location is not optimal. Okay, that's fine. Ow! Woohoo! Put myself here, maybe? <clears throat> You little runts, Chief Sava will have your heads for this. Yeah, Sava the Slayer. It'll chop you into mouse meat. That was good, right? Mouse meat. That was good. Sava the Slayer. Maybe the tale is true. What tale? Word in the tunnels is that a water vole fell into the under river four seasons ago. He grew fat on the water waste, so fat that the under river rat started worshipping him as a chieftain. Some say he's as big as a horse, that he swings around god weapons like they're nothing. That can't be true. No rodent can grow that big, right? Oh, well, who can say? I always thought he was a myth, like ghosts and musk wolves. Right. Just ghosts and musk wolves. Let's go find out. <laughs> oh my god, the cool S. Can I tell you something? I found out recently that there are two different ways that people learned to draw the cool S. top right corner. Um, I was so surprised. I know. Clark learned to draw the cool S. Uh, <laughs> a safe spot. And the way she, and the way that she drew it was totally different to how I learned how to draw it. And I, at first I was like, that's not the way you draw it. And she was like, what? Yes, it is. And she was absolutely right. It, it turned out fine. I was just being a silly goose. <laughs> Two rows of three vertical lines. That's how Clark learned to draw it. I had never seen that before. I've never drawn it that way. That's how you draw it, though. What's the other way? One moment. A 
Okay. I'll draw it on the back of this. Shout out to Manda. Cool art, cool art. Okay, so a bunch of you are saying that the way that you learned it and the way that my kid does it, right, is like one, two, three, one, two, three. Right, and then, what is it, this, this? Or this, this? This, yeah. Right, and then, and then this? That that's how you learn to do it? Okay, so how I learned. <laughs> is you do a whole, the, this whole thing first. That's so much worse though. Really? They both look like garbage, family. <laughs> Neither one is looking super clean and crispy unless you're really making it clean and crispy. <laughs> <clears throat> it looks way harder. I'm just telling you, it's how I learned to draw the S. That's the point, that's the point I'm making. The second way is harder to learn. I'm not saying there's a better way. I'm not, say I'm not saying the way that I learned is the, is the superior way. I'm saying it's how I, I didn't realize there was another way to draw the S, guys. This isn't a competition. It's an observation. <laughs> Playmaster Leo, what's a statue doing down here? Perhaps the Under River Scoundrels built it. Even they know to respect the powers of the crown. No way. They must have looted it. I guess that's more likely. In any case, we should say a quick prayer for protection. Say a prayer at a statue. I will. <clears throat> <clears throat> Woo! Your game has been saved. Sick. <laughs> Metric versus Imperial cool S learning. Oi, Chief, they're here. Two mice? Rats, I could understand. But you're telling me you had your arses kicked by two little mice? Don't ask, underestimate him, Chief. The bigger one's a scary good shot with the bow. Yeah, and the little one's got some fancy sword work going on, okay? Pathetic! Both of you! I'll deal with these runs myself! Chief Sava, I presume. It's a pleasure to meet you in person. What a letdown. You said he was as big as a horse, Lance. Firm, mind your manners. Ha <laughs> ha! Quite a smart tongue you got there, little one. I bet it won't be so smart when I cut it from your mouth! Hiya! So it's true. You do possess a god weapon. I say hello to the Titan Reaper. This butte can cut through all creatures great and small. Mice and rats, fish and felidae. I even brought down a Nightwing one time. Lance, what do we do? Keep your nerve firm. The Vol talks big and carries an impressive weapon. But I wonder, can he even swing something so unwieldy? Can I heck? I'm gonna carve you up like butter! Hiya! Hiya! Oh! <clears throat> Come at me, you flea bitten yellow belly losers! Don't take the bait, Verm. No, 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 no. I said defend. Wow, you're no fun. Yeah. Oh, my boy. Def 
Defend. Defend. I don't know how much the peanut heals for, but I'll save it. Noise. Oh my god. Ah! Sava's down? Let's get out of here. Get back here, you damn disloyal gutter rats! You've lost a lot of blood, Chief. Make your peace with the world. Well, I've long made my peace. Very well, but this is where we part ways. Come along, Verm. Hey! You're going up to heaven, aren't you? Heaven? The gods' food hoard, just above here. We are. From one foul vermin to another. <laughs> Don't bother. That place used to be paradise, but now the yellow god roams the hall. All that awaits you is death. <clears throat> Farewell, chief. May your soul pass to the next world unhindered. Lance, what's a yellow god? It's a new one to me, but don't let it bug you, Verm. It's all in my travels. In all my travels, I've never seen or heard of a deadly yellow god. It's the crazed mutterings of a dying rodent. Just ghosts and muswolves. Right, just ghosts and muswolves. Let's keep moving. We're almost at the horde. Verm, what are you doing? Look at this thing. It's amazing. It's so big. It is quite a weapon. I'm taking it with me. Forget it, Verm. Getting food is a higher priority than collecting some fancy god relic. Yeah, I guess you're right. Do you think a mouse could ever use a weapon like this? <laughs> Maybe. The strongest mouse in the world. Or the craziest. Come on, we have a mission. What's this say? You might have just leveled. When a rodent levels up, they gain a skill star. You found a treasure map. Neat. Skills. That's all I can do, I think. This is it. Brace yourself, Firm. The relevance of the mouse knife video. If anyone wants to see it, Google mouse steals knife. It's the first YouTube video and it's ridiculously cute. Oh my God. I might watch that later. <laughs> Hans peas. Whoa. It's beautiful, isn't it? Fruit, grain, meat, items I can't even describe, all neatly wrapped and ours for the taking. But we mustn't dawdle. Dad's letter says the horde is overrun with hungry gods at dawn. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh, well, what do we start with? Corn, let's find corn <gasps> and bananas and bread. And is that chocolate I smell? Calm down, Verm, it's seeds we want. Seeds, Ugh, boring. Boring, but they're valuable and imperishable. Lead the way. They're stored at the end of the corridor. Firm, wait. What? I've seen these before. They're sinister contraptions. One wrong step and bam, the bar comes down and snaps your neck in two. Dad called them thunder snares. Are you serious? They look so harmless. Don't even touch them. Just tread lightly. <clears throat> Lance, who made the Thunder Snare things? The gods? Indeed. They were probably left out as a warning. A warning? For us? We're trespassing on holy ground, after all. Are you scared? A little. Me too. But we have each other's backs, and that's what family's for, right? Yep. We stick together. 
I think I can almost smell the seeds. Then lead the way. This is what we want. There are enough seeds in one packet to feed the village for a month. Help me drag it down. The bag comes down with a gentle tug. It's huge. How are we going to get it past the thunder snares? Well, we'll solve that problem when we get there. For now, help me drag it toward the underriver. I'll pull. Go around the other side and push. Got it. Ready? Let's do this. That's the spirit. When I give the signal, give the packet a big shove to the left. Do you smell something? You and your nose. Just try to focus, Verm. On my mark. It smells sweet. Not good sweet, though. I'm getting a whiff, too. It's sickly. What do we do? We stick to the mission. Come on, on my mark. Lance, I feel dizzy. Oh dear, can you keep going? I think so, but the smell is really strong. I think it's coming from... Is that? Behind the bag, now. Did it see us? We need to get out of here, now. Uh, but what about the seeds? Forget the seeds, run. No! Lance, it hurts! Hold on, don't move. All right, um, stay calm. It's just your tail. Thank the fates. We can get you out of this. Right. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna lift the bar, and you're gonna squeeze out. Squeeze out? I know you can do it. When I give the signal, push as hard as you can. On my mark. You pulling? Yes! Let's try again. All your might now. This isn't working. And we're running out of time. I'll stall the god. Find a way to get yourself free. Lance, no! Lance! Don't go, I'm scared. Over here, you monster. Damn it all. Hey, over here, look at me. Seth, look at me, come on! I... I got its attention. Escape. Lance. Lance needs my help.
I didn't notice that the cans change. I warned you guys, okay? I warned you that it was sad really early on. <laughs> <clears throat> they did when he was running out the ones that were like a like Heinz baked beans sort of thing. Instead, the label said run mouse run. Look at this boy. Firm learned rage. He's a little berserker boy now. You should not have come here, Mouse. I'm passing through to Cranbale. Let me be. I'll be no trouble. Oh, you found trouble, friend. I'm the predator, and you are the prey. You run, and I chase. That is the way of nature. Who said anything about running? What's this? A mouse wielding a god weapon. Now I've seen it all. Very well. Show me your strength. Amuse me. You're no predator. You're nothing but an overfed fuzzball. Bold words for a morning snack. Impressive. But it takes more than that to hurt a tiger. Night fighting tiger? <gasps> the sword is heavy as anything. How did the mouse knight even swing it? Ugh. Oh, and you're not dead. Steady on your feet now. Are you hurt? Don't touch that. <laughs> I'm fine. Wow, he's the real deal. Pardon? I saw you going paw to claw against Tiger, blow for blow. It was the coolest thing I've ever seen. It was amazing. Well, until he sent you flying, that is. I had to drag you here before he gobbled you up. It was a close call. You dragged me here? Where is here, exactly? Oh, right, hold on. Cranbale! Their burrows are deep, their convictions deeper. <laughs> the buster sword mouse, someone said, real. This is Cranbale, the sanctuary of knowledge. It is. Welcome, welcome. I'm Siobhan, daughter of Lady Gilda. She's the head of the village. Oh, oh you should come meet her. A mammy doesn't normally like visitors, but you're something special. Fine. I have a question for her anyway. Lead the way. Just kidding. I'm going to go talk to everybody else first. That old tiger's right piece of work. Can't be doing anything when he's on the prowl. Welcome, welcome, an outsider. Welcome to Tulia's. Take a gander at what's in stock. What'll it be? I need a sword capable of killing titans and gods. I see. Double-edged, solid steel, is it? Sure, but I'll settle for iron. Fella, 
look around yourself. This shop sells bits and bobs for the humble people of Cranvale, cookware, mining equipment, linens. This isn't a royal armory. Well, do you have anything I can use? I can do you a pair of high quality mole made boots. Good for hiking or mining. Only five seeds, a fair price, isn't it? What do you say, five seeds for these boots? No thanks. Suit yourself. Come back later then. Are ads playing? No! Uh, I don't have the coffee ad on this computer. One of many things that still needs to be uh, <laughs> put on here. Ad break done. Fantastic. Sorry about that, gang. Okay. We've got an hour until uh, it tries to do another one. So, in an hour, we'll take like a proper break and like walk away and stuff. <laughs> is happy to take our seed for taxes, but where's their support when we need it? That's a great question. Can't play. My mom says it's not safe. <laughs> Go ahead and steal this. Dear Ruth, I hope all's well at the Nook. I wanted to pay a visit for the young king's coronation, but alas, Cranbale needs its librarian. Books in this case are old and tattered. You try to read one, but the pages crumble between your fingers. Yikes. I'm very busy. I have to go. You look like a sturdy lad. You're a warrior, are you not? I am. I knew it. You have those warrior eyeballs. I was a fighter in my youth, too, I'll have you know. A member of Mirida's Thimble Guard and all. I'm sure you were. Ha! Don't give me lip. I may be past my prime, but I've had more fights than you've had dinners. I've got years of battle-tested wisdom to offer. Not right now. I've got better things to do. That's right, is it? Oh, well, suit yourself. You see a book titled Miss Molly's Book of Many Maladies. When cut, erode, and bleed, small cuts will heal on their own. Large cuts may cause severe blood loss. 
Treat heavy bleeding with bandages. A rodent who has been afflicted by a toxic venom of some foul creature may find themselves unable to move. Stunning tends to cure itself over time once the venom has left the body. A rodent who is enraged will lash out with doubled fervor. A berserked individual will eventually calm down. Sessions with a therapist may alleviate future outbursts. A rodent who drinks alcohol may become tipsy. That's often why we do it, but a tipsy rodent will become most unreliable. If needs must, drink an espresso. Fantastic. Thank you. This is the council room. Are you ready to go in? Yeah, let's go. Siobhan, shouldn't you be studying? Who is this outsider? Oh, yes, introductions. Um, that's Loremaster Morvin on the left, uh, Blade Master Nemain, the Hedge Knight on the right, and Mammy, uh, I mean, Lady Gilda of Cranbale in the middle. Uh, Mammy, this is, um, I didn't get your name. Verm. Right, Sir Verm. Sir? No, I'm not a knight. Really? Oh, huh. Uh, well, anyway, Mammy, I saw this guy fighting Tiger. He was swinging around a god weapon like nobody's business, and that stupid cat had no idea what he was dealing with. I think this guy might actually be able to calm yourself, young lady. S sorry, Mammy. Mouse, you fought the Felidae with a god weapon. What can I say? Rodent weapons are brittle. Such arrogance. To fight a god's pet with a god's weapon. Sacrilege. Sacrilege of the worst kind. In accordance with the laws of the old way, a punishment is in order, my lady. Want me to put him in the stockade? Try it, Pinecone. See what happens. Everyone quiet. This mouse is a visitor. He is not bound by our local custom. We won't punish you, mouse, but we won't help you either. Do whatever it is you came to do and take your leave. Fine, I didn't plan on sticking around anyway, but before I go, I need information. I'm looking for the one known as the Yellow God. The Yellow God? I'm afraid we don't know any gods on a first name basis around here, except for Cormac, I suppose. Have you heard of this Yellow God, Lord Master Morvin? I'm afraid not, my lady. Perhaps this mouse should head to Murida. One million mice and rats live there. Nobles, merchants, academics. I'm sure one of them can be of assistance. That was going to be my next destination anyway. Very well, take your leave, mouse. A server, wait! Siobhan, may I have a word? Mingling with blaspheming vagabonds is most unbecoming of a young lady. Stop calling me young lady, you know I hate it. Young lady? You are nobility. Know your place and return to your studies. Studies? Mammy, that belly day is killing us off one by one and you weren't doing anything to stop it. Not another word. What would your father have said if he saw you mingling with a vagabond? Well, Da's not here, is he? Siobhan. That rock-headed child. She thinks herself a warrior. Her father's daughter, all right. Hold your tongue, Blade Master. Yes, my lady. Sorry, my lady. Oh, her little eyes! Baby. Let me guess. Your mom told you off for hanging around strangers. Wait, are you crying? No. Look, I'm not good with this kind of thing. Mammy's so damn stuck up. Ever since Da died, she's been obsessed with following the old way to the letter. No god tools, no god interference at all. But what good is that doing us? How does cowering in a burrow help anyone when Tiger's on the prowl? I get it. Most rodents would rather hide away than face real issues head on. You seem like a smart kid. <laughs> I'm sure you'll make it through this. W wait, before you go, can I show you something? It'll only take a minute. One minute? Yes, just something in the library. All right, lead the way. Wait, what? Are you saying I'm pronouncing it right or wrong? Siobhan. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> it's because um, that name has popped up in two games recently and both times I've originally called it Sauban. <laughs> 
And chat's been like, that's an Irish name. That is not how you pronounce it. So it's burned into my brain now. Are you behaving yourself, Siobhan? I am antiinogen, of course. Mm, shouldn't you be studying? I should, but I was just going to show this visitor the um, illuminated manuscripts in the back. Stay out of trouble, young lady. Your mother worries about you. I know. Illuminated manuscripts. Just follow me. And because you did it wrong last time. Yeah, what did I just say? <laughs> that we played games recently, including this one, with that name in it. <laughs> I'm not interested in some old books. Never mind the books. I've got something better. But you can't tell anyone about this, all right? Especially not Mammy. Sure, whatever. I'm serious, promise me. All right, I promise. A tunnel? I dug it myself. Come on. A treasure trove, huh? Yeah, god tools. I've been secretly collecting and studying for a whole season now. You see this? It's a god's timekeeper. I can't read the runes yet, but I'm getting there. A and this machine's a fancy god toy, I, I think. I watched a young one play with it for hours. It turns on, but the screen's all banjaxed. I reckon it's missing a part. Yeah, this is all fascinating, truly, but if you brought me down just to show me your trinket collection. Wait, 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 you'll really like this one. Do you know what this is? Uh, I mean, I've seen them around. I know they're a common god tool. Even better, a god weapon, like yours. I've got it working. I even spruced it up to pack a proper punch, but it's in need of a field test. And I, I thought I could use it on Tiger, you know, give him what for, maybe save the village. But I don't think I can, not because I'm scared. I mean, I am scared, of course, but I get it. You do? You want to take that Philly day down, but you know attacking Tiger yourself would be suicide. The other moles in this village just sit on their tails and rant about the old way and you want me to lend my sword. Right, yeah, pretty much. Could you? Sorry to disappoint, but I don't do sellsword work. Sellsword work? I couldn't pay you even if I wanted to. This village is flat broke. I was hoping you would do it, you know, because you're a chivalrous knight. Like I said, I'm not a knight. I didn't come here to do charity work. Go rally the thimble guard or something. I'm out. Ah! Not running away. Sir Verm, are you okay? <sighs> Look, you're really pitiful, you know that? Y yeah, I know. <sighs> I'll help you. Really? Yeah. We'll go kill that Philly Day. And you can reap the glory or restore your village honor or whatever. Just make sure to follow my orders. Yes, Sir Verm, to the letter. I'll go wait by the lift. Thank you so much, Sir Verm. Siobhan has joined the party. Well, at least if it all goes wrong, she'll make for a good distraction. This device looks complicated. None of these buttons do anything. Siobhan said this thing is missing a part. The runes are strange. You can't read the god writing. Woohoo! Return to the surface. Is there anything this way? This is Cormac, the villagers, the village's watchful protector. Not doing a very good job, is he? No, I guess he's not. But he can help us save our game. Yay! All right, let's go. <clears throat> the warrior mouse returns, and with a mole this time. Don't tell me the little kitty's scared of being outnumbered. Scared? All I see before me are an entree and a main course. 
Go ahead, mouse and mole. Use your god weapons. They won't save you. Let's go, girl! Hold your nerve, mole. Hold my nerve. I'm done holding my nerve. I'm gonna unleash fire and fury. Let's go! I rage. Light him up, Siobhan! I'm on it. fire then if I can. Ah! My girl! She's bleeding! <gasps> Give it to her. Shoot! I didn't put the bandages on anybody. She's okay, she's okay, she's okay. <laughs> Firm learned cleave, let's go. We did it, we actually did it. But we didn't land a killing blow. It doesn't matter, that kitten won't be bothering the village anytime soon. Come on, let's give Mammy the good news. I'm sure she's gonna be so excited. Uh, hold on. Oh, we leveled. Increase attack. Allies can see enemy HP and status effects. Oh my god. Siobhan, you're so useful! Equip. Um, bandages on her. Okay. Uh... Wait. Just since I changed stuff and leveled up and stuff, I don't want to forget I did that. Okay. Descend to Cranbale so that we can tell everybody, fuck the old ways. We both used god weapons, actually. Hold on, before we get kicked out of this town forever, I'm gonna buy these shoes. <laughs> this village has seen enough adventure. Fit for ne'er-do-wells. Tin toad for safety. The height of mole fashion. She's got a bit more safety. I know, the disrespect is wild. Why are you still here, vagabond? I made myself clear. Mammy, you'll never guess what. Sir Vermin, I fought off Tiger. We actually did it. You slayed the Felly Day. Well, we didn't quite slay it, but we certainly sent him running. That mangy monster will be licking his wounds for seasons. My word, Siobhan. I knew you were no dainty lady, but this is something else. Don't you have anything to say, Mammy? I do. You disappoint me, Siobhan. I disappoint you. I freed us from Tiger's tyranny. You short-sighted fool of a daughter. And what will happen if the gods see us as a threat? Blades and poison, fire and water. They would rain hell on us, and it would be the end of Cranbale. Mammy! Get out. Fine. Come on, Verm, I'll see you to the entrance. No, Siobhan, leave. Leave? You want to be a warrior so much, like your father was? You want to tinker with god tools and fight titans? Fine. You've got your wish. 
I'm exiling you from Cranbale Village. Mammy? Go on, leave. Don't come back. Damn, Mom. Verm, wasn't it? You've caused enough damage here, I think. Whatever. You know, I came here because I heard Cranbale was the gathering place of the smartest minds in Rodentia, and all I found are stubborn idiots. Do you want to follow the old way, or do you want to survive? The old way is survival. The old way's dead. Siobhan gets that. Why can't you? Get out! Oh, was I too harsh on Siobhan, Lord Master? A harsh lesson is sometimes needed, my lady. But perhaps, if it would ease my lady's worries, I could send a butterfly. A butterfly? To the king. A formal request to overwatch the girl should she enter Mirida. Very well. Siobhan? Siobhan? Shavava? Shavavi? Sure. <clears throat> oh, baby girl! Oh, there you are. What? What am I supposed to do now? Anything you want. Can I come with you? Anything but that. Uh, I've got a job to do. They say two people short in the road. Don't follow me. I said don't follow me. You're a liability. Was I a liability against Tiger? I mean, you were okay. Just okay. But you're going to Mirida, right? I can help you get there. I don't need a chaperone. Serverm. I know I'm not the greatest fighter, and I don't know what this yellow god is that you're after, but I want to learn, and I want to help. So what do you say? Fine. We'll go to Mirida together, and after that, uh, who knows? Thank you, Sir Verm. I won't let you down. Save. <laughs> I'm edgy. I walk alone, okay? I think that's pretty obvious by my giant weapon and my surly demeanor. Look, Sir Verm. Godly junk. Let's move on. They got an F! It's all right, homie. Next time you'll get them. What is this? Garbage. Come on. We have walking to do. Uh, uh, is there someone out there? Yeah? Oh, cool. Um, do you mind helping me out? Because I'm a bit stuck. Sir Verm, we have to help them. We're never going to make it to Mirida if we get sidetracked by every idiot in distress. Um, uh, you're headed to Mirida? I, I could fly you there. Fly? Of course! That's a carrier basket over there. This person must be a majestic carrier raven. Verm, this is a golden opportunity. A free ticket to Mirida. A direct flight would save a lot of time. Weeks, even. <sighs> All right, sit tight, bird. Uh, yeah, cool beans. You know, I'm not really going anywhere, so... <laughs> Verm is quite the edgy boy. He's very edgy, yeah. This lid looks pretty heavy. Will I be able to lift it? I guess I won't know until I try. I need to show Sir Verm I'm not a liability. There's got to be some way I can help. I knew it. There's all kinds of things in here. Pointy sticks, a rubbery cube. Brute strength didn't work. Maybe I can stab the lid open. Sir Verm, I found something. Junk? Not just any old junk. Give me a second. What is she doing? <laughs> Dude, we need all of the... Did we need all of the noises to make this? 
You built a seesaw. A lever. It's basic mechanics. If we both jump as hard as we can on that end, the lid will go flying. Will it really? Trust me. Are you ready, bird? Ready for what? They're ready. All right, fine. We'll give it a shot. On three. One, two. Oh, baby. Oh, my days. I almost died in there. I have no idea how you two busted me out, but bad respect. How'd you even get stuck in the first place? Uh, well, so, like... You know that thing where you smell a bit of food and you follow it, and then the next thing you know, you're stuck in a box surrounded by garbage? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, my name's Dizzy, by the way. It's a pleasure to meet you, Dizzy. I'm Lady Siobhan, and this is Sir Verm. I'm not a knight. Well, you say you two are headed to Merida, the rodent capital, right? Uh, that journey's a breeze. It's a short flight southwest of here. I can take you right away. Are you sure? That's so kind of you. It's the least I can do for getting me out of that thing. Hey, hop in the basket when you're ready. But wait, what's over here? Anything? No? Okay. Sure, hop in the basket. We're off to the road and capital. Hold on tight, because I ain't stopping if you fall. <laughs> this music's so good. Which way did he say it was? Southwest. Never eat soggy worms. Southwest. Here we go. <clears throat> the station's buried. Do you have a good flight? Yeah, pretty smooth. What do you think, Siobhan? Oh, she's gone. Yeah, moles aren't really built for flying. But anyway, uh, Mirida's through a gutter over there. It'll take you to a pipe that goes down, like way down to the under river level. So, Mirida lies below us. What kind of fancy god building is this place anyway? Beats me, Mouse Gang. Us pigeons just call it the Belfry. The gods call it the Western Palace. It's just some old building they use for bureaucratic work, but we won't see any godly business. Mirida lies below the floorboards. The rodent city and the godly city, two societies so close but never overlap. I guess you're feeling better. Oh, huh, I, I suppose I am. Well, um, thank you for the trip, Master Dizzy. Yeah, no problem. Uh, you two got me out of a real pickle, so feel free to stop by if you need to go somewhere. Thanks, dude. Yeah, one of the one of the things, one of the like um uh selling points for this game is that you would there's no grinding in this game. It's just like a linear boss based game. <laughs> Whoa, the Under River. This must be Bloody Bridge. It connects to the city's east gate. And the rapid water below is the Moat of Mirida. The current in the moat is so intense that anyone who falls in is swept straight out to sea. You sure know a lot about a random bridge. It's a famous bridge, Sir Verm. Wars have been decided on this very choke point. Yeah, fascinating. All right, I think I see the gate ahead. I feel like this could be a fantastic anime. I agree. I would totally watch this anime. The copper doors of Mirida's East Gate, the famous city beneath the city, is just beyond here. Stay to all business! Our business is our own, nosy. Sir Firm, be nice. The verification of all migrants and visitors is standard Mirida procedure. Um, I apologize for my companion. He's a little cranky from the long journey. I'm not cranky. Ahem. State your business! Right, all right. Our business, we're... <laughs> Warriors. Uh, swords for hire. Ha! Every vagabond who picks up a weapon thinks themselves a valiant cell sword. On the king's orders, Murita's border is closed. No admittance, especially for vagabonds like yourself. Good day! 
Can you maybe make an exception? Oh, he's gone. Psst. Oh, God. Hold on, I need a minute to decide what I'm going to do about this guy. <laughs> so this character that you're about to see, last time chat was like, it's pretty obvious this character is supposed to be Scottish. So you have to try a Scottish accent. And I did. And immediately got roasted that I just made him a pirate. So um, I don't know if I want to subject myself to that again. So I need to figure out what to do about Bruce. <laughs> Just make him a pirate on purpose. We won't roast, we promise. I believe, Maggie, that you won't roast me. I don't trust that you can speak for all of chat though. <laughs> I don't trust chat. <laughs> hmm. Chat loves to roast, it's in their blood. <laughs> Put the chat in emote only for the whole time that this character's around? I don't know. How do you, you pronounce it Siobhan? I decided to make my new D&D &D character Scottish. I massively regret it. <laughs> I guess we're going to jail. <laughs> hmm. It's funny. We've been playing like games where I do voices so intermittently that I'm like really struggling to think of a good voice for this character. You're an emote only. You can't respond. <laughs> uh, maybe. Okay. Here we go. Do we do Valley Boy or do we do uh, like a James from Pokemon sort of situation? Here, I'll give you a poll that you can do while you're in jail. There you go. The poll is live. Team Rockets, rockin', rockin' trouble, rockin' trouble, double trouble. Big trouble's gonna follow you. 2000 Diamond Man, welcome to the Cat Gang. Thank you very much for subscribing. I hope you're having an amazing day. I'll release jail when the poll's done. It's from the Pokemon soundtrack. Hold on, I'll find it. Oh my God, he found it so quickly. And I'm sick of waiting. I want Pikachu, and this time don't screw it up. We'll be the richest rogues of all time. 
I also had the CD. I'll be the king. I'll be the queen. I'll be the joker. Of crime. Make it double. Amazing. Prepare for trouble. Make it double. Anyways. <laughs> first season Pokemon album is S tier. I remember exactly where I bought that album and I played it so much. Loved it. Anyway, I guess we're doing a James from Pokemon type thing with this character. I'll do my best. To unite all peoples within our nation to denounce the evils of truth and love, to extend our reach to the stars above. Jesse! James. <laughs> I was trying to find a touchstone phrase and just, <laughs> just trapped myself. Okay, let's go. <laughs> mm, very good, all right, anyways. You two, over here. Hold on, there's a chest. We found seeds. Hell yeah, dude. Look at this man. <laughs> now you see why chat was like, You gotta go for a Scottish accent, but I refuse this time. Sorry, guys. The bagpipes aren't helping, or are they? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <coughs> the wee bookkeeper didn't let you pass. <laughs> That's right. Uh, right. No matter, there's another route. See this door? It's a service tunnel that goes to Mirida, but it's a labyrinth and I know the way. You'll be our guide? That's great. What's your price, Harlequin? Price? I'm no fool. You want seeds. Nah, I don't want your seeds, just your skills. Our skills? Your warriors? Sometimes there's a few wee bugs on the path and I reckon you could bash them silly. If it's just a few wee bugs, why don't you fight them yourself? I'm a bard, not a fighter. A lousy pacifist. I think that's a fair offer, Mr. Squirrel. What do you say, Sir Verm? What's the catch? No catch, lad. Just makes sense to stick in groups when braving a labyrinth. Something smells fishy. Don't be a cynic, Sir Verm. Does this kind stranger really look suspicious to you? Extremely. Stop being silly. We would be happy for you to join us, Mr. Squirrel. Magic. My name's Bruce, by the way. Verm. And I'm Lady Siobhan. No, wait. I'm just Siobhan now. Uh, nice to meet you, Bruce. Pleasure to meet you both, but let's not waste any more time. Bruce, join the party. Bruce is tall. What's up with that? <laughs> Chat's like, it's a squirrel, dude. Service tunnel is for authorized personnel only. Sounds like us. Let's go. I almost forgot! Don't even think of using the service tunnel! One of our engineers was eaten by a... Oh, they're gone. Welp! Not my fleas, not my circus! <laughs> Copper statue of a shrew holding a scroll. The plaque reads, Beauty can be found in all things. Build master Vishruvius, first architect of Mirida. <laughs> Look how he stands. <clears throat> All right, let's go. I forgot that his, <laughs> that his uh, he plays a flute that's made out of a pencil. I forgot about that until right now. It's very good. The labyrinth. What denizens lurk within? We've got a problem. Our route goes via this tunnel, but it's all clogged with fat and gunk and God knows what. What, so we dig? 
<laughs> You're welcome to get your hands dirty. I'm not touching that foul blob. I've got a better idea. This is an under-river pipe, right? There must be a way to control the water flow. If we can increase the pressure, the blockage will just pop out. You're a smart one, aren't you? I reckon that might just work. Let's go find a tap or a lever or something. All right. <laughs> wow, look at that. A tap, a lever or something. You hear the distant sound of running water. <laughs> the ocean floor was my domain. I dined on fish to keep me sane. What was that? What was what? Nothing. I, I must be hearing things. Oh, that actually worked. Nice job to both of you. Well, let's press on. I like our little reflections. They're cute. All right, let's go. <gasps> Bing, a foul roach. Just a wee bug, you've got this. Oh, so you're literally not gonna help? No bother, you've got this. Ugh, fine, help me out, Siobhan. <laughs> Great. <clears throat> Rage! Rah! Out of my way! Ow! What the hell? Oh. Done. Where's Siobhan? Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, what's this way? Oh, yeah! You found a button shield. Did we level? On Berserk, Verm heals at the start of each turn. Too angry to die! Okay, but we get to choose something for Bruce. Sweet Melody cures status ailments. Or Defending Recovers. Oh, interesting. Let's do that. Looks like another blocked pipe, fellas. What a pain. No point dawdling, we'll solve this. Two. Okay. This one first, I guess. You hear the hiss of pressure. <clears throat> the sea went dry as fish ran few. I ventured far for something new. Did you hear that? Just the gurgle of the pipes, lad. I think I heard it too. It's a voice, but not one from any rodent I know. Another pipe unclogged of god filth. Hey, mouse, I can't help but notice. You don't have a tail. Yeah, so what? I'm just curious where it went is all. The yellow god took it. Yellow god? Sir Verm is looking for him. He's headed to Mirada to find leads. And then I'm gonna kill him. What? You didn't mention that before. A mouse who wants to kill a god. You're one mad lad. He's gonna pay. I love the animations in this game, they're so good. Rage! Rah! Out of my way! Another blockage? This is getting tedious. This is the last one. Merida's right on the other side of this pipe. Bruce, why are you headed to Merida anyway? Going to busk for seeds? 
not quite. Meeting up with my bandmate. And then we're gonna head to Sky Garden to play music for the Squirrel Duke. Wow, I've always wanted to see Sky Garden. Don't bother, I heard the squirrels there are violent. Firm, that is so rude. <laughs> it's true. Sky Garden's ruled over by Clan Grey. They've long earned their reputation as a bunch of nasty band pots. Anyway, let's get this over with. <laughs> Five. Oh, that's where we came from. Don't look at me. Oops, nope, rage. Swipe will kill it. Well, I know Cleave will kill one for sure, so I'll just do it. Ooh! The damage spread. That's actually really nice. Attack for three. No. Okay, we move on. Six. Hmm, okay. So four must be through here. You found a spider! <laughs> no! It's like this game's version of a mimic, unreal. Get out of the box, you little twerp. Damn, dude. Seed throw. Do we get those seeds? Rage has subsided. No! We need your rage now more than ever, Verm. Yeah! <laughs> you picked up an insect part. Gross. Why did you do that? Is it something we can equip? Black has eroded beyond comprehension. That's okay, I'll save anyway. All right, four. Five. 
six. Pursuing tastes of sweeter meats, I braved foul streams for gourmet treats. That sounded pretty close. Can't deny I heard that one. What did you get us into, clown? Nothing. Poor spider was just chilling in his home. He even had the doors closed. Ah! <laughs> I wasn't looking at the screen. What is that? Oh, just a wee bug. You've got this. That is not a bug, you flea-bitten idiot. Looks like the deep sea denizens I've read about. Did it come all the way for a meal? Now here I stand, thy lives forsaken. Commit my name, for I am Kraken. <laughs> Bruce, we could really use your help with this. Oh, right you are. <laughs> the music. I'll play a tune and raise your spirits. That's not helpful. <laughs> I'll dice you into calamari. <laughs> Let's fucking go. The music's so good in this game. Resist. Resist fire damage? Okay. What have you got? Heal an ally or give a bonus turn to an ally. Ooh, give that to him. He's raging. All right, let's see. Noise. Ow! My body! Firm is stunned. God, it doesn't really do much. <clears throat> Ooh, it's doing more than the fire. All right. Oh, just defend. Ow. Oh, dude. Oh, not on him. yourself, dude. Ow. Strength such tiny creatures bear, you force my flight to an empty lair. Woohoo! Siobhan learned overclock. Well, what did I tell you? Just a wee bug. An ocean monster doesn't count as a wee bug. No bother, you had it in the bag. I don't appreciate being deceived. I got, I got hee-haw to hide. 
I've got hee-haw to hide. Oh, yeah, then why wear a mask? Oh, like, he's got nothing to hide? <laughs> Is that what that means? <laughs> Why are you two fighting? We're nearly at Murida. Your mole friend is right. What's done is done. There's no point squabbling. I guess. All right. To Murida. Uh, let's save again. Where was that save? Here? Yeah. <clears throat> I've got hee-haw to hide. All right. <laughs> so... Um, I believe either the ads are trying to happen right now. Yes, they are! Good, my timing. Let's take a proper break. Uh, go pee. No, this isn't ad content. Go pee, grab a drink. Whatever you gotta do, I'll see you in a sec.
out, it's fine. As I was coming back in here, I was like, I'm forgetting something. I'm positive I am. But I've been gone too long now, so I have to just keep walking. <laughs> it's fine. I don't need more coffee, okay? So, let's go. Let's get out of here, you weirdos. No! Whoa. Is that an Atlas rat? Metropolis beneath the floorboards. Oh, baby. This is Mirida. <clears throat> this is it. It doesn't look as glamorous as I imagined. Oh, it's just the shipping district. Hold on, I'll walk you to the city center. Over that way. Claire, out of your punks. We got merch to move. Found seeds. <laughs> <laughs> Came here through the service tunnel? You absolute plonkers. But hey, I guess you survived. Welcome to Merida. Thank you. You found a spring onion. And you found two seeds. Heck, rude! Uh, okay. <clears throat> this way? Okay. That's ratless! Of course it is. That's ratless, the statue of the city center. Which means this is where we part ways. I'm meeting my friend, and then we're off to Sky Garden. Good luck, Bruce. Play their stockings off. Will do. And thank you for the help. Maybe we'll meet again sometime. <laughs> I doubt it. Verm, it'd be nice. Classic Verm. Take care. I got things to do here, too. I know. You're looking for leads on the Yellow God. Sir Verm, I want to help, and I'm not taking no for an answer. So I'm going to do some research at Mirada's library. The library? It's the best place to learn new things. There might be a book on the Yellow God. Makes sense, I guess. Books aren't really my thing. I'm headed to the royal palace. I bet the king knows a thing or two. Sir Verm, I don't think they let just anybody have an audience with the king. I didn't think of that. <laughs> you reckon there's a booking system or something? Um, uh, maybe? Whatever, I'll go find out. Let's split up and we'll meet back here in a little while. Uh, okay. Yeah, really excited to have yet another city I'm not allowed back into. Wish we had a field or something. There's no room here. I'm gonna be Captain Amir to PC. Just you watch. Just done me shopping. The merchant's quarters are so convenient. A marble statue of Ratless. The giant rat angered the gods when he stole the secret of electricity. And as punishment, he must hold an enormous weight until the end of time. So the shrew legend goes. Um Oh my gosh. Oh no, I didn't I didn't level everybody up. Sure. Now we'll save. I have to I have to leave this top save. There has to be a save where our brother is still alive. All right, what's this way? The book nook. This is probably where she is. I keep telling people this isn't a library and yet people come in just to stand around and read our books. I come here just to smell the books. I love that new book scent. 
If you eat it, you buy it. You see a book titled James Ascent. When the flames of the Great Fire Trial grew beyond control, the Imperial soldiers were the first to scatter and flee, leaving the Meridium citizens to a blazing demise. A mouse peasant called Artura stepped forward. She rounded up a dozen of her peers, James, Vishruvius, and Grace the Red among them, and demonstrated how to fashion a smoke-proof, a smoke-proof mask from a thimble and a dampened cloth. The group set to work putting out fires and directing others to safety. The fire consumed Meridium and much of Rodentia. However, thanks to Artura's quick and selfless actions, the thousand, thousands of lives were saved from a horrific demise. In the following days, once the ash had settled and the tears had been shed, the people of Meridium nominated Artura to lead the city as the first in a new line of monarchs. She declined the offer, nominating James the Black Rat in her stead. Thus, James was crowned the first king of Rodentia, with Artura serving as both blade master and founder of the aptly named Thimble Guard. Out of the ashes of Meridium, the modern city of Merida was constructed. Since James's crowning, the Blue Rat Monarchy has reigned over Rodentia for over 300 years. Why exactly Artura declined the throne will perhaps forever be a mystery. Nora's fall. Shrew Empress Nora was born in the twilight years of the Golden Laurel Empire, an era marked by rampant inflation, unprecedented austerity, and endless plagues. The citizens of Meridium called for respite from their squalor, but Nora had none to offer. If the mice are hungry, they can eat their thatched roofs, the Empress, famous, the Empress famously mun- muttered. On a late summer's day, tensions came to a boil. Citizens pounded on the palace doors and demanded justice. The senators, led by Senator Decimus, were happy to oblige. Speaking to the crowd, Decimus denounced Nora as the sole source of the citizens' ills. He proposed that to assess Nora's guilt, she be put to a trial by fire, an arcane test even for its time. The Imperial Guards constructed a great pyre of timber and straw in Meridium's city square. They tied Nora to its central mast. With a single spark, the pyre ignited and the crowd let loose a raucous cheer. The fire ate its fair share, but it hungered for more. Flames danced from pyre to pyre, haystack to haystack to roof, and soon the whole city was ablaze. The damage caused by the Great Fire Trial was immense. Meridium burned to the ground, thousands of rodents died, millions were displaced, the godly city above too suffered greatly. Thus, the Great Golden Laurel Empire was reduced to ash. Oh my goodness. Delicious mouse recipes. One piece of penne, one small tomato, one acorn cup of water, salt, pepper, basil, and oregano to taste. Crush the tomato, mix the tomato water and spices, stuff the penne tube with the sauce, place in a metal pan. Bake for 15 minutes. A cell sword. Shoo, I have no time for you. See a book titled God's Life and Death. As a lore master who has decided her life, dedicated her life to studying the behavior of gods, the most common question I get is, are the gods mortal? A controversial subject, to be sure, but there are verified witness accounts of gods succumbing to death by sickness, grievous carriage injury, and even old age. The second most common question I get is, how do the gods reproduce? To which I answer, noisily. All right, let's get out of here. Out of my way, nerd. (laughs) Whoa, damn. A thimble? Young King Titan's border, a win for the people. One can't help but wonder. Dad's working late again. What have you got there? My sword. Not that stupid thing, that piece of paper. Is it a drawing? This, it's a map. Can't make whisker nor tail of it though. Cool, it's got an X, like it's marking pirate treasure. Sure, it's just like that. Looks like the maps of the kingdom I've seen in school. That big blue squiggle is the King's River. Mirrod is over here, just next to it. The X is way over there in the Northeast. Oh, right, so North is up. Did you miss a class in school or something? I never went. Whoa, lucky. (laughs) A new location has been added to your map. Thanks, kid. Now I'll steal from you. It's a kid's drawing. You have no idea who these people are. (laughs) Thanks, kid. Gods above us never stop hooting and jeering. Makes it hard to get some shut eye. Is 
Is it a pub above us? No. It's the, that's right, Never mind. This cube cost me 2,000 seeds a month and it doesn't even come with a loo. Hey, you're good at robbing people. Ever thought about being a landlord? Someone finally acknowledged that I was stealing their money. Psst, hey kid, you wanna buy something? Special? What do you got? You're a fighter. How about a preserver mushroom? The water voles of Scanvik eat them before battle. True facts. One mushroom's eight seeds. You interested? No thanks. Smart lad. Your mom taught you well. Commit no nuisance. I'll do my best. Whoa, some of, some of the rats and mice here are so cool. Oh. Aha! You! Who? You! You're late! I am. Are you not the apprentice I requested? I am. Ho oh, ho, I knew it! Abozado, the merchant extraordinaire has a great eye for these things. Listen well, my apprentice. There's a dock worker at Canard's Wharf who has a package for me. Retrieve it and I'll reward you with a seed or two. Fine, whatever. Seed's a seed. But no peeking. If you peek at the package, you shan't be paid even a threepence. All right. The wharf, you said? It's not that far. Taming of the shrew delayed due to the plague. No, I'm so bored. The merchant quarter used to be bursting with life and then we were hit with a plague. Yeah, that sucks, dude. That's rough, bud. Pet cockroach answers to Miss Wiggles. Hey, sword boy, you scared of spiders? No. Nothing I can't handle, why? Oh, no reason. <laughs> Cause there's a spider in here. A spider squatter. Oh, they're friendly. The spider seems to be trying to communicate. Do they want something? Oh, does the spider want food? <laughs> Offer the spider an insect part? All right. Oh my goodness, the spider throws 10 seeds at you. I don't think I have another one. Spider sighs dejectedly. Hey, thanks, bud. <gasps> Who's that up there? They're so cool. Why is everybody so cool in this game? Fashion? <laughs> Drip King! Hey, you, you see this fit? How do you rate it? 10 out of 10, you're rocking it. Clearly, you're a man of good taste. You came to the right shop. Talk to me if you need new getup. I can help you look a fraction as cool as me, but it'll cost you. How much? 12 seeds. But what am I buying? You're buying my eye for fashion. I'll ask you some questions, take some measurements, make an outfit for you. What do you say? 12 seeds. Not right now. Suit yourself. Pun intended. Fresh veg, get your fresh veg. <clears throat> I once saw a god pick his nose and eat it, and it was gross, but like kind of humbling, you know? <laughs> <clears throat> Shh, don't tell anyone I'm here. Bird is crumbling. Enjoy it while it lasts. I will. You guiltily add it to your wallet. I'm so proud of my Molly's creativity. She gets through paints faster than I can make them. Perhaps you can help. Don't bother strangers for your errands, Mom. He doesn't mind, do you, young man? It's just paint, right? Is there a craft supply shop in Mirada or something? If only. We have to make our own pigments from natural materials. To craft a perfect indigo, we first must pluck 40 petals from a hydrangea in full bloom. I don't have time for that. 
How about I just go nab some godly paint instead? That would be easy. Godly paint? Well, now that really would be something. I wouldn't ask you to risk your life and limb over paint. It's nothing. I have a nose for these things. Sit tight. I'll be back. Oh. Portraits are popular, but I'm trying to paint something new. Something different. I believe in you, Molly. You there, you looking to buy some delicious fusta kalabi? Fustuk. The most delicious nut, very nutritious, very filling. Oh, pistachios. Yeah, I've eaten one of these before. And but not like this, I personally shipped them from my home overseas. Their flavor far surpasses the kind native to Mirida. Rich, creamy, delicious by themselves or ground into a biscuit. You make a good pitch. How much? For you, seven seeds each, a bargain. No thanks. You drive a hard bargain. Just this once for you, I'll cut the price. Five seeds, what do you say? I'm honestly okay, thanks. This is the highest quality fustuk. I can't keep dropping the price. But you're an excellent negotiator. My final offer, four seeds. What do you say? I was gonna just come back and maybe pay the eight seeds. <laughs> but now I'm like, should I just keep saying no thanks? I really don't want any pistachios. I see. Well, sir, if you change your mind, I'll be here. Okay. Oh. Fresh coffee, three seeds for a cup. Not right now, maybe later then. I'm writing an RPG, I'm nowhere near done though. I'll take, it'll take most of my life to finish this damn thing. Girl, preach. This road leads to the palace. Be on your best behavior, citizen. Maybe I will. And maybe I won't. Palace is open to celebrate the young king's coronation. Not an everyday thing. Feel free to look around, make no trouble. What's our boy Bruce up to? The good old Twisted Tales. Can't leave Anton waiting. Anton! Bruce! It's been too long. I missed you. I missed you and all, babe. How are you keeping? You know me, I'm always fabulous. What about you, Lapa? Why aren't you wearing a mask? <laughs> it's called fashion, Anton. Look it up. No need to be sassy. I just thought you were getting ready, you know, for plan S. Yes, the plan. We'll travel to Sky Garden, steal the pebble of Squin right from under Duke Josh's nose. Make it sound easy, Lapa. But still, you know, we lack thieving experience. So I was thinking, maybe we could get a third party member, you know, someone who's an expert. Oh, an accomplice. That is a fab idea. This pub house all sorts of net this pub houses all sorts of neds and rogues. I bet there's a natural thief among us right now. Give me a minute, babe. I'll ask around. Good luck. You're robbing Sky Garden? I've heard horror stories about their prison system, ruthless guards, torture, and whispers of a chained up dragon. <laughs> so count me out. You want my help robbing Duke Josh? Not a chance. The Duke's ruthless, even by Clan Grey standards. I'm not getting guillotined so you can make off with a paw full of seeds. Oh, I love a good heist, me. Count me in. But I'm working a double shift, so I guess I'll have to pass. <laughs> These boys! So since the palace gates are open, we should demand to talk to the king himself. You think he's gonna listen? He has to. It's his job to serve the people. Sorry to interrupt, lads. You want in on a heist? We're all right, thanks. Yeah, no more petty crimes for us. We're going straight, trying our hand at a much cleaner career. Politics. <laughs> Rumor in the tunnels is Sky Garden has a stoat for a blade master. Couldn't pay me enough to tussle with one of those. 
Now's not the time to play knife darts. Why not? <laughs> huh? Where's the music, sir? A robbery, huh? Wouldn't be my first, but those days are long behind me. I'll dedicate my next song to your good fortune. No luck? No, I asked everyone here, too. Maybe this wasn't such a good plan. I'll take the job. Might be good for a laugh. Who said that? Show yourself. The name's Jabari, but those who see my handiwork... Call me Pocket. Oh, I get it. Pocket because you're small? You're pocket-sized? <laughs> no, but that's pretty good. Yeah, I'm gonna steal that. And so, <clears throat> you wanna break into the indomitable fortress of Sky Garden and nab a pebble. The pebble of squ- Is that- how do you pronounce this? <laughs> Squin? Squeen? Squan? Squin? Skewin? Scone? Squeaks? All right, you guys are ruining this for me. <laughs> I'm trying to trust you with my pronunciation of words I'm uncomfy with. Scoon? N not a single one of you has said the same thing. I'm not fucking with you, it's Scoon. All right. We don't have a mod from Scotland, unfortunately. It's true. I'll say Schoon. That's fine. The Pebble of Schoon. It's a family heirloom. Sounds shiny. Tell you what, I wouldn't normally just help anyone out for free, but I think it would be hilarious for that hoity-toity duke to be taken down a peg. So, just this once, I'll offer you my trickster skills. Totally pro bono. What do you think, babe? This guy sounds pretty great to me. Uh, I don't know, Lapa. How do we even know Jabari Parson is a real thief? That's a good point. Maybe we should set up some sort of test. Ahem. Is this your seed purse, hamster? I don't know what that is. <laughs> it is! <laughs> All right, you're pretty good, Pocket. You're in. Looks like we're really doing this. We're off to Sky Garden, my home. Ah, oh, I found it. Mirada's great library. Nope, that closed down. This is Mirada's so-so bookshop. Oh, well, that'll have to do. We read all of these as a different person, so I'll just <laughs> blast through them here. Ah! Oh, I'm so sorry. Your outfit really startled me. That's quite all right. It happens all the time. Wait, that mask. You're a plague master. Indeed, I am. Plague Master Akala of Merida, to be exact. You must be very knowledgeable. Maybe you can help. I, I have this friend. He's looking for a yellow god. How curious. What do you and your friend know about this yellow god? I don't know much. Um, my friend who saw it said, Your friend saw the yellow god with his own eyes. Your friend met the yellow god and lived. Yeah. And who is your friend? Uh, just a wandering mouse knight. What's the big deal? What is his name? Where is he? You must take me to him. I have to go. <laughs> Wait, Mo. The yellow god is more than just a myth. What could this mean for Mirida? The king. I must alert the king post haste. Meow. Oh yeah, I look like I belong here. Redentia's reigning monarch, King James XLV, whatever that is. In his right paw, he holds the scepter of legal authority and in his left, the orb of divine rule. Save game. It's basically wow in Russian. Oh. 
I could, I could, I could switch it up. I could give that hamster a terrible Russian accent. I do have one of those in my pocket. <laughs> you look pretty strong. Ever thought of joining the Thimble Guard? Nar. Season Traveler and Trinket Connoisseur. Knight of the Order of the Silver Tomb. Small in stature, unyielding in spirit. Cornflower the Childish. I'm supposed to be enlisting people for the guard, but nuts to that, job's cursed. Come sign up if you want to give and or receive some fresh trauma. Damn. No, don't steal that. It's a priceless artifact. <laughs> Kidding. I don't give a shit. It's all yours, little guy. Thanks, dude. Visitors always ask me about secret passages around the palace, but there aren't any. I've looked. <laughs> Look at all these cutie pies. Frontier Explorer of the Emerald Marshes. Tamer of Titans, champion of the Wayward Star. Skybound Inventor, maddest of lads. Sharpshooter of the Thimble Guard, heroic defender of Two Tail Pass. It's my first day on the job, but I'm kind of scared. Leo and Rosie and everyone else are so cool. I'm worried I'm gonna let them down. Just do your best, I guess. Yeah, thanks. No problem, I worked really hard on that. Lord Cheesecake! Opener of doors, refuser of kisses. These are so good, these pictures. I'm obsessed. Who is she? Campo Muito Grande, the unflusterable peace bringer. Behind here is the barracks. Touch my stuff and I'll bury you? Damn. I will try to touch everyone's stuff. We open our gates for one day. Suddenly every idiot wants to rifle through all of our stuff. Hey! Keep your grubby paws to yourself. What happens if I keep trying? Okay, there's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> I do hope the young king lives up to his mother's fine reputation. God's rest her soul. Totally. Same disease. The story leads to Plague Master Akala's lab. A right weirdo, that one. The door is locked. Okay. <laughs> the gamer urge. I know. Uh, not now. Hold on. One attack. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's way better. Okay, cool. My sister's running late for roll call on her first day as well. She's going to get churned out at this rate. The Night Guard, King James I, addresses Blade Master Artura and the first Thimble Guard. Hey, uh, be honest with me. Does this hat make me look distinguished? <laughs> it's cringe. I don't know much about fashion, but I even I know those hats are out. Aw, oh, dang. Really? Hoping to make sergeant one day. Maybe this hat will hold me back. The boy is spoiled and foolish. Yes, your Magnus, but his counsel is wise and experienced. Let us lend the full support of our baronies, as if we have a choice. Don't dawdle here, peasant. You're stinking up the place. Whoa! Don't mind Alex. He's just bitter Sir Leo stole his Blade Master title. Whoa. 
King James lament. In the wake of the great fire, the first king of Merida surveys his ashen kingdom. You know what this is reminding me of? You know how, like, in The Great Mouse Detective, there's, like, a, there's like a, a weird parallel. Like, there is a, there is a, a mouse world equivalent of every human thing. <laughs> That's, that's the vibe here. Sir Diego sure is something. When I stand guard with him, I feel downright unqualified. Did you want something? Can I see the king? <laughs> yeah, uh, no, sorry. Uh, you gotta request a formal audience for that privilege. Can I do that? Can I request an audience for the king? Uh, sure. Just so you know, the waiting list is three months long. All right, sounds good, put me down. All right, name? Verm. Surname? Uh, no worries. I know how it is. I'll just write down Verm of the Under River. Matter of business? God slaying. <laughs> is that, uh, is that the name of your play or your comedy set or? Don't tell me. You know what? I, I want to be surprised. You're all booked in. Come back in three months. Fine. I will. The hammer of justice falls heavy. Take thy leave, lest thou wishest to bear its weight. Damn. You talk like the cat. What's up with that? Ah! Touch not the door. Thou hast no business with the royal court. Damn. All right, bye. Siobhan was right. I'm not getting an audience with the king. Maybe she managed to uncover something. If I go back, hold on. I'm gonna see if I can go back and, and tell this chick that she needs to show up. I think your sister's waiting for you up the stairs. Rosie's waiting? She said something about roll call. Oh my gosh, it's roll call already. How did I lose track of time? Oh, I'm so stupid. I've gotta go. <laughs> okay. So it's you who assisted Maisie. I appreciate it. I didn't do anything. You did something. The residents of Gutter End won't even give us the time of day. And I can't say I blame them, given the guard's mixed reputation. I don't know why you chose to help my sister out, but in any case, you have my thanks. Thanks for passing on Rosie's message. You're the best. Yeah, no problem. But don't go telling anybody I was nice. <laughs> <clears throat> it's going straight to the king. I follow. What is this fancy mouse doing? <laughs> is she on the phone? Why is she pacing so much? From one pacer to another, dude. You gotta chill. Let me through, you thunderous oaf. I have urgent matters to discuss with the king. Thou art disgraced, plague master. Thou hast no place upon the royal court. Thou thinkest me distracted? Foolish mouse, be gone! Plague Master used to be on the King's Council. I don't know exactly why they were booted off, but boy, is it fun to speculate. Uh, okay. Don't mention it, literally. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, 
I recognize you guys. This is our opportunity, Stilton. A day to let the king know everything wrong with our kingdom. Don't bother. He doesn't see plebs. Hey, hey, I know you. Yeah, you're the brat who cut down Chief Sava. You and that flea bag brother of yours. My brother was no flea bag. Where is he? I don't see him around to save your hide. I save my own hide now. Looks like a fight's brewing. Should we stop them? Nah, the mouse looks scrappy. I want to see where this goes. <laughs> I bet you two have a lead on the yellow god. Tell me everything you know. You'll have to make us, Pipsqueak. This is going to be so embarrassing for you guys. Is, is that Chief Titan's Reaper? Now, hold on a sec. All right, mate, you got your point. The yellow god, get talking. I haven't heard that name for a while. Not since, you know. Yeah, and to be honest, there ain't much to tell. Just that he's a harbinger of death and doom and all. Yeah, I know all that, so tell me something new. Sorry, mate, that's all we got. You should talk to the cal... You should talk to that if you want to know something. Calic? Yeah, yeah, the Calic of the Woods. Word in the tunnels is she's lived for 400 seasons. Seen everything, knows everything. You're obviously pulling my whiskers. Swear it on Sava's soul. You're too useless. Is he hunting the yellow god? That's not going to end well. A little loose in the head he is, but you can't fault his determination. Should we still go see the king? Nah. Wild One's got a point. The king's fought too pompous to see us plebs. Strength and stability. That is what my mother promised this kingdom. And that is what I shall deliver. Virtuous and ambitious, your majesty. But your decision to close the East Gate has caused unforeseen issues. Intercity commerce is down a quarter. Tourism faring even worse. If we don't reopen, we may have a recession on our paws. What are your thoughts, Blade Master? Whether the gates are open or closed, Mirida is safe. The Thimble Guard are more than capable of facing any threat to the city. Perhaps your majesty should consider the needs of the people. The needs of the people. Your majesty. Plague Master, you know you were dismissed from the King's Council. Take your leave. This is a matter of great importance, Needle Knight. National security. National security, my tail. Please proceed, Plague Master. There are two subjects of interest in the city, a mole girl and a vagabond mouse. I believe they possess knowledge of a great supernatural force. I request that you rally the Thimbleguard to find them and- A great supernatural force. Ghosts and muswolves. Your majesty pay this fearmonger no heed. Hold your tongue, Needle Knight. You have no idea of the terrors this kingdom faces. Enough quibbling. Both of you. Lawmaster, what is your counsel? Well, I don't know about any supernatural force, but we did receive a butterfly just this morning from the Lady of Cranbale Village. She claims her daughter, a noble mole named Siobhan, was abducted. The culprit, a vagabond mouse wielding a god weapon, is en route to the capital. Such coincidental timing. One can't help but wonder, could this be the same pair? It must be. The girl was dressed like nobility. Well, what are you waiting for, Needle Knight? Rally the Thimble Guard. Search the city. I'll brief Dame Rosalind and Dame Maisie on the matter, and that should suffice. That's all. Two amateur knights. The Scissor Maidens are more than capable of handling a trivial kidnapping case. Your Majesty, this is a very serious matter. I trust Leo's judgment. We'll go with his recommendation. If that is all, take your leave, Plague Master. Yes, your majesty. Thank you, your majesty. But I helped the sisters. The sisters are being sent to find me, but I helped them. 
And they were like, you're so nice. Remember? And I was like, don't tell anybody I'm nice. But they know I'm nice. Just throwing it out there. <laughs> I'll see the rat out. Where were we? Oh, yes, the East Gate. Sir Diego. Blade Master. What do you make of Plague Master Akila? My thoughts matter not, for as Thimble Guard, I am bound by duty. I'm not asking Sir Diego the Iron Justice. I am asking Diego, my dearest friend. <laughs> the, smith, the, like, <laughs> the font changed and everything. Akela claims to value the pursuit of knowledge above all else, and yet they work behind locked doors. Their secrecy betrays an abhorrent motivation. Like an innocent lily with twisted poisoned roots. Pray that the rat's words do not infect the young king's mind. God's willing. God's willing. Blade Master, I hope we're not interrupting. I heard you have a special minish for us. A special sm sim um Ah, I'm messing up already. Maisie, take it easy. Slow breaths. Is she all right, Rosaline? I, I, I'm fine. Sorry, please continue, Blade Master. I'll keep this brief. Listen closely. There is a noble mole who has been kidnapped by a vagabond mouse. You're here already. Did you learn anything? Yeah. City folk are weird. Ugh, no argument there. I couldn't meet the king, but I did learn about a so-called Calic of Ashen Tower. Ghosts and muswolves, am I right? The Calic. Mammy taught me the legend of the Calic. She's as old as the mountains, as wise as the gods, but as cold as winter. She lives at the top of an ashen tower where she watches the world with unblinking eyes. So the rats weren't lying. Where is this ashen tower? In the heart of the gloaming woods, near Sky Garden. So goes the legend, at least. Sky Garden? Why does that sound familiar? So is that where you're headed next? I suppose. It's a bad lead, but it's the only one I've got. Are you hoping to tag along or something? I'd love to! Th that, no, that wasn't an invitation. But it's not like I can stop you, so... Dizzy probably knows where Sky Garden is, so we'll hitch another ride. It seems a shame to leave Mirada right after we got here. I'll make sure to do a round of shopping before we go. Sounds grand. I'll follow your lead, Sir Verm. All right, let's do all these side quests, huh? Save. Oh, wait. We didn't level her. Increase her health or increase her attack. I want to increase her attack, I think. Trinkets. Okay, now save. Okay, it's almost two o'clock. All right, Rudy went there and did all that. What was down here? Book nook. Ugh. Okay. Right, this person was like, nice, you stole all my shit. <laughs> this is where our buddy went but is gone now. What'll it be, friend? What do you recommend? How about the house special? Eight seeds for a pint. It'll put hair on your tail. I keep not buying stuff, sure. Sounds good, I'll take one. You received special grog. Don't go trying to ride a god carriage while inebriated now. Good luck finding that calic. Thanks. 
What's the rush? Stay around, uh, stay around a while. I think I'm being hustled. I'm hustling this sucker. <laughs> Damn. I take requests. What are you in the mood for? Ooh, a heroic tale. This is a tale of valor. It's of courage. It's of chivalry. Enable rat jam for this. Death stalks the town, so they braced for the end as the fox closed for the kill. And Leo took the field. He is not back down for a thimble night swan every life to defend his help to brave Sir Leo and his miracle blade so bright. Where evil, proud, and danger beckons, he sends that monster back to hell with a needle through the eye. Why won't it let me? Okay, do I have it now? I have it now. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Rat jam's been added. It's a dangerous world out there. Stay safe, traveler. We have to listen to another one now, now that we have Rat Jam. It says the words under him. I didn't realize. Full of heartbreak and splendor. Go and may no foe surround you. Feral titans not have. I liked that one. There's only one left. We might as well listen to it. Hope you're ready. This little ditty is a real earworm. Let's go. Friends, rodents, country mice, prick up your ears and attend to this ditty of mine. And if it should please you to buy me a beer, then I'll sing you a song sweet as mine. I've roamed this world over, a red-tailed rover, a scholar of poem and song. Of all the games to not have an OST for sale. No, is there no OST out? 
maybe eventually. The game did just come out. I've crossed the great waters. I have ruled sons and daughters of rats, kings, and thorns galore. But leave them I must, for I'm slave to my wanderlust, shipping my song shore to shore. Dev said it, it'll come to Steam soon. And right now you can get it on itch. Oh. There you go. So buy me an air, and I'll spin you a tail. For tomorrow I'm roving along. And I'll share for a glory the horned rats of comet stars. Learned from an aged red sword. As they toss back and out by the isthmus canal to the strain of the dawn. Yeah, Rat Jam is in here. That was great. Oh my god, we didn't go down here. What the hell is this? Don't mind me, just taking a break from the young'uns, all 14 of them. Run along, scamp, before I put the boots to you. Just pulling your whiskers. What? It's all quiet and gutter end today. Let's hope it stays that way. Cute. I want to join the Thimble Guard someday. I could be a real hero like Mathwell or Diego or Leo, but I can't afford the fees. I'll stick with the family business. Family business? Weaving, of course. Quilting, sewing, knitting, embroidery. I can do it all. Needlework runs in field mouse blood, so they say at least. I see. I'm waffling. Did you want something? Nah, I'm just looking around. All right. Is that a shield back there? Hey, what's going on back there? <laughs> Guard ain't so tough, just a bunch of toss playing soldier. Guard are a real pain in the tail. I can barely leave my shack without being stopped and searched. in a shoe. It stinks, but the rent is an absolute bargain. Fair. Oh. Smell onions and garlic sizzling in golden olive oil. Welcome, mouse. Welcome to my humble little restaurant. Do you appreciate the fine pleasure of a gourmet cuisine? Sure, food's great. A connoisseur! If you bring me rare ingredients, I can craft dishes that transcend the usual myriad and swill. I can make the food of the gods! Okay. <laughs> what dish to start with? Perhaps a delicate nut flour cookie with a hint of rose water. Bring me a pistachio and I'll make it for you. And I'll make for you goriba. Sorry, oh my god. The nobles feed on the food the gods drop and we feed on the crumbs left behind, same as it ever was. Did you wanna do some fishing? <laughs> yeah, sure. Oh my god. Let's do some fishing, press Z to aim. Reel it in. We found 10 seeds. <laughs> you 
You found some godly junk, a square chunk of plastic. You'll add it to your trinkets. Five seeds. You fi fished the pile dry. Hell yeah, I did. Okay, so let's go buy a pistache then. Oh, did she not come with me? What? You two, did you slug brains actually take the service tunnel? Do you have any idea how dangerous that was? Ugh, whatever. I guess you can come and go through the East Gate from now on. My job is meaningless, apparently. Ugh, just go. Are you serious right now? All right. <clears throat> Four seeds each, I can't go lower. Sounds good, I'll take one. Many thanks, it's been a pleasure doing business. Uh, what else was there? Oh, this person. What do you say, 12 seeds? Sure, let's do this. Oh yeah, just a few short questions. Hit me. Great, question Ichi. Should fashion always be practical? Always. Interesting take. How many pairs of shoes do you own? None. Fair enough. Last one. This one's a toughie. Skinny or baggy jeans? Hmm. Normal. Question time's over. I've got a good feel for the kind of fashion you're into. Let me grab something special from around back. Try this. You received a chic jacket. You're gonna look dapper in your new threads. Safe travels. Stay stylish. All right, what do we got? Oh my goodness! Damn, and now Siobhan can use this. Yo! Fortified beyond all reason. Heals 10, but might have side effects. Recovers all status ailments. Heals eight. Hey, thanks, dude. Uh, okay, and then the paint, right? I don't have any insect parts. Give this pistache to the chef. Oops, you're not the chef, la 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 la. Smells divine. You must have traveled far to procure it. A guy was selling them up the road. Such humility. Ten seconds, if you please. Bai works some almond flour into a paste, adds crumbs of pistachio and a single drop of rose water. He bakes the dough in a blazing wood oven. An aroma of sweet and floral biscuits fills the air. Voila, Goriba. What next? Perhaps a hearty steamed vegetable, vegetable dumpling with a sesame dip. Bring me a peanut and a spring onion and I'll make for you baozai. Or baoji, or however it would be pronounced. I have both of those things, oh my god. Here's your spring onion and peanut. Magnificent, a moment if you please. He pours the mixture into a sheet of dough, carefully folds it into a ball, and then, wow, that's a lot of steam. It smells divine. I wanna to try to make my magnum opus, my ultimate dish. I had a dream once, a dream of a forbidden food, a food not even the gods would dare to make. A cookie base encompassing a salad, all in the shape of a paw. Picture it, dessert and greens, all in one meal. That sounds odd. Dream big, my friend. I'll need something special for this to work. Bring me high quality chocolate and I'll make for you the king's paw. Okay. 
I don't know if I want cookie salad, but that's fine. Um, okay. Yeah. Let's save real quick. Ah! Great. Hell yeah. Oh, it's you two again, the Bin Busters, off on another adventure. Do you know the Squirrel City of Sky Garden? Oh, yeah, 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 of course. Actually, I just came back from delivering some oddballs that way. Is there a festival going on or something? A band of oddballs? Do you think it was Bruce? Well, he fits the profile. I hope he's faring well. He's a squirrel among squirrels. I'm sure he's right at home. The bird's got things to do. Hop in the basket if you're ready. All right, let's go. Um, okay, we have a few different things going on here. Sky Garden. And then, what else did we unlock? What's this? Carriage Yard. Uh, this is, uh... Nah, I ain't got a clue. Where are we? I don't think this place has a name. I'm just following directions on an old map. Whoa, treasure hunt. <laughs> I like it. Sure. Oh? So you're a dirty thief who's taking my treasure. Well, go on, take it from one plunderer to another. You also found a who helm. What did you find? A cool hat. Uh, that was the wrong voice. <laughs> Careful, Sir Verm. An old relic like that might carry all kinds of curses. Oh, please, I'm cursed out. One more couldn't hurt. If you say so. Is there anything up here? Nar. Minus five to defense, but plus ten to attack. Yo, what? Maybe when we have a healer back in the party. <laughs> Let's go. And then we put another thing on the map for us to get paint. Here we are at uh, some god's dwelling. What are we doing here? I smell paint. I see no gods around. I'm just going to quickly nab some. Paint? It's for a side quest. <laughs> Sir Verm, I thought we were on an important mission. We need to find the Calic. Should we really be doing side quests? Look, this job is nothing. It'll take me a minute. If you say so, but I won't help if you get into mischief. It's a rock. Definitely a rock. You're certain this is a rock? Godly paint. A whole pot is small enough to carry. That's convenient. Picked up a pot of godly paint. You add it to your trinkets. I've taken enough. Okay. St 
Stop right there, thief! You dare steal from our god? The nerve, the other cheek! I'm just taking a little, they've got loads. But that's wrong, and stealing is wrong, and my mummy and daddy told me so. I'm not arguing morality with a talking rock. Get out of my way. Put the paint back, or I'll, I'll bite you. Can you help me out, Siobhan? Oh, no, Sir Verm. You dug yourself into this hole. You could dig yourself out. Ugh, fine. <gasps> I'm not fighting the baby turtle. Do I, am I gonna get nothing for just like not attacking this baby? <laughs> so this is how it ends. <laughs> My first death <laughs> to the baby turtle that I refused to hit. Uh, okay. Nibbled to death. Hi, Miata, how are you? All right, let's go. Honestly, if anybody was gonna kill me first, you know, in the lineup, I'm glad that it was a baby turtle. All right, we'll go straight there this time. It's a side quest, guys. I need paint. It's fine. Like, wow, look at all these cool rocks. It's like, this is a baby. Are you a monster or what? Good, just life always. Let's catch up sometime. I hope you and the fam are well. Thank you. Yeah, same to you guys. All right, well. Ow, what the heck? Fine. I rage. Out of my way, little rock. I'm not a rock. No, my rage. Daddy! 
Now, what's all this fuss about? You're her father. Look, this is just a misunderstanding. Daddy, he stole precious paint from the gods, and then he beat me up. Oh, did he now? Another wannabe hero, is it? You put on a cape and think it gives you the right to pilfer things from houses and beat up little kids? That's, that's not... She started it, but... Siobhan, you're good with words. Can you, can you help me out here? I wouldn't dream of interfering, Sir Verm. It's your side quest. You've got this. I believe in you. <sighs> All right. Your daughter's a menace. You know that, right? Little Maribel is an angel. Om nom nom nom. Oops. Nope, cleave. Ow. But when you swing that thing, you could take someone's eye out. Do I really need to come over there? Uh-oh. You've done it now, lad. Mummy's gonna kick your butt. I heard everything. Stealing from our gods, brawling and yelling. In this house? You're being a bad influence on little Maribel. Yeah, a bad influence. Siobhan, this one looks kind of tough. I would appreciate some help. <laughs> huh. It says here mushrooms are more closely related to us animals than they are to plants. Isn't that peculiar? Oh, that's pretty bonkers. The things you learn from books, am I right? I know you can hear me, Siobhan! Okay, fine, fine. Let's get this over with. <laughs> <laughs> Mom looks awesome. Ba, 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 ba. How can rocks talk anyway? How can such a small mouse carry so much angst? Life has many mysteries. Ah! Oh my god. She does all the damage. <laughs> the eyes! <laughs> Cleave. Oh my god. I have no items! Okay, well, all right. Am I raging? I'm not. Do I heal when I rage now? Is that a thing? Uh. I did heal a little, okay. I didn't forget my item. Well, I mean, I forgot to replace my items. The items that I had were given to the chef. <laughs> ah! <gasps> 
You're quite something. Maybe it's time for us to get serious. Yeah! Maybe, but then again, this mouse has only taken a very small pot of paint. Perhaps it was wrong of us to intervene. You may pass, mouse. But stealing is wrong, mommy! Maybe so, little Maribel, but sharing is right. And our god has so much, and this mouse takes so little. Who are we to deny him? So I'm free to go? Of course. <laughs> All done. Oh, <gasps> I leveled up. That was worth it. Grant, let's go. Yeah, dude. If you had helped me, maybe you would have leveled up too, dude. Boop, 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 boop. Oh my god, she's level four and I'm level six. God, I'm so cool. Increase my health by two. I guess I'll go this way just to like unlock more stuff. Each of Verm's strikes inflict bleed? That's a later thing? Absolutely. I don't know if we learned the right lesson here. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> what's, what's wrong? <laughs> All righty. She couldn't stay home, dude. She got kicked out. I'm the best she's got, which is very sad. To Murida. The station's Murida. It sure is, dude. BRB. Thank you. It's really, it's really hard to walk around while I'm doing that. Ta-da, paint. This color is amazing, like a spring sky after a storm. Did you have any trouble? No, no, nah, it was nothing. I'm glad. He's being modest, mother. I know it's not much, but I want you to have this as payment. Don't try to refuse. Take one of my paintings, too. A painting, are you sure? You went out of your way to do a good deed. I don't really get why. Maybe you enjoy playing hero, but maybe you were hoping for a reward. Look, just take the painting. You received a soothing painting. Nice, sick, okay. Ba, ba, da, ba, 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 da, ba, ba, ba. Hold on, Siobhan, before we go, let's buy some coffee. I'll have one cup. What kind of milk? Oh, God. Oh, please. The only correct choice, my man. There you go. Receive a coffee. It smells energizing. Who am I, the royal coffee master? Drink it whenever you want. <laughs> Pairs well with black tea. Heals 20. Recovers three. Flawless dumpling. Heals 20 and recovers two. Ooh. Okay, let's get out of here.
back in. Why do I smell beer? I just had a weird, like, strong whiff of beer. It's probably psychological, because I just looked at Siobhan's um, menu, and she had the grog. <gasps> yes. This is Sky Garden. This is my home. What's wrong? Sky Garden's supposed to be a rainbow, a tree overflowing with flowers of every hue and shade all year round. This doesn't look anything like the stories my dad told me. Yeah, I never heard that flower stuff before. Sky Garden's a fortress, a military stronghold. No rainbows here, dude. I see. No need to get down. Let's run over details. You know, uh, plan S. Right, the plan. Okay, so we're booked for performance with Squirrel Duke at noon. Bruce, you and I will walk in and play their socks off. Exactly. And then, uh, while Duke's court is distracted, I scale the outer wall, climb through an upper floor window, find the treasure room, break open some chests, and steal the pepple of Schoon. You know, it seems like I've got the harder task here. Can you manage it, Pocket? Are you kidding? I can do it blindfolded. Bruce and, Bruce and I will leave before Duke notices anything's missing. And we'll all be in the clear. Pebble and paw. <laughs> This'll be a riot. Uh, one more thing, Bruce. I'm really sorry to say this, Lapa, but you should tuck. T tuck your tail. Hamster's got a point. It's a dead giveaway of your uh, true colors. Oh. Oh, I see. Uh, I suppose it is. My doll always told me to be proud of my tail. You have a beautiful tail, Lapa, but if gray squirrels sniff you out as a red... Oh, heads will roll. Sorry, Lapa. No bother, I'll hide it just for today. To survive. We're all set then. I'll see you both out here in a little while. And I'll go tune my balalaika? Amazing. Meet you in the throne room. I can do this. You can do this, Bruce. Sky Garden, the city of opportunity. I think they're hoping to masquerade him as a rat. Potentially. Josh! Who's Josh? A solid gold statue of Duke Josh. It exudes an unprecedented level of arrogance. Duke Josh glimmers. Save your game. Uh, hold on. Level up our boy first. Defending recovers one. That might be good. Oh, I have access to the stuff I bought as the other group. That's nice. Troopers with colorful swords are the Duke's dozen. Keep your head down. Don't make eye contact with them. That's my advice. Store goes to the dungeon, but it ain't visiting time, bud. <laughs> Damn, okay. Welcome to Sky Garden. Get out while you still can. Damn. It's an enormous set of plate armor. If you wore this, you wouldn't even be able to walk. These shields have been painted with coats of arms, emblems of noble families. Man, making armor is my passion, but all day, every day, all I do is making fixed weaponry for the Duke's army. It feels a bit, I don't know, wrong, you know? It's a living. Sometimes we have to bury our pride to put food on the table. Yeah, I suppose. Oh yeah, did you want to buy something? Maybe, what have you got? I have some freshly forged plate armor in your size. Oh, just the ba basic... I've never known how to, how to say that word. With steel pauldrons and fold, you understand. Spalders are built in, sabatons and van braces not included. Ah, <laughs> those are words. Sorry, I got carried away. I'll make it simple, 20 seeds for high quality armor. Not today, thanks. But if 
we share pockets, then when I go back, if I buy it now, when I go back to be, I don't know if any of us can wear armor like that though. Like heavy duty armor. Oh, cutie. Are you friends with the little guy with a big guitar? He went upstairs. Y'all be careful now, the Duke doesn't mess around. Those two creeps always give us weird comments, but it's not like we can say anything, you know? Every morning we line up, pledge allegiance to the Wayward Star. Do y'all have that in Merida? Nar. What is all this? You see crude drawings of a snake-like creature. There's also a strange note. I, I, okay. I was gonna say, the Calic must be some kind of, like, they said that it doesn't blink. And I was like, I wonder if it's like a snake or a lizard of some kind. And now there's pictures of a snake. Is this gonna be the Calic? Anyways. Roy, Roy, Roy. Okay. I'm hunting a cryptid, a supposed wizard lizard of the glowing woods. Let me know if you find them. Be careful though, they might be dangerous. Wizard lizard, never mind. See a collage of rodent faces. These are all the people who've gone missing in the last couple of months. Once the Duke throws someone in the dungeons, there ain't no coming back. See a drawing of a donut shaped earth. That one's more of a work in progress. A book titled Christoph the Ra Wayward. found an oaken ocarina. Something tells me you're scheming against the Duke. Go ahead, keep that. Maybe it'll come in handy. Violet, the screeching creature, now on her world tour. The Duke banned me from playing anything but the gray anthem. One last gig and then I'm flying from this rotten tree. Hell yeah, Violet. Uh, not yet. What's up here? How high can I go? Oh, nice. Don't touch the magic missiles. They're extremely volatile. Check out what I found in prison contraband. A godly fire starter. Badass, right? It's yours for 15 seeds. Deal. For my precious prince is engraved on the side. Don't tell anyone. If Captain Iden found out, I'd get my tail grilled. Welcome to the armory. Don't touch anything. It's gross that the Duke keeps a stoat on the pay payroll. Just looking at that long-necked freak gives me the creeps. Whoa, damn. No access to the treasury unless you want to take on my genius intellect. I do. Oh, they won't let me? But I also have genius intellect. <laughs> I'm ready. Let's do this. My Duke, it looks like your entertainment has arrived. LOL. <laughs> Better late than never. What am I looking at here? Pleasure to make your acquaintance, my Duke. We are Bruce and Anton the Great, and we are honored to serve. Wow, your accents are like so good. Is this a comedy set? Um, no, those are just our voices. Shame. Oh my god. <laughs> of all the god weapons to take. Of course this guy vapes. Oh, and there's the stoat I just noticed. Maduke, I have just one question before we start. Where are all the flowers? Flowers? A rainbow of flowers is the signature of Sky Garden, no? Is this really the time, Lapa? 
A rainbow of flowers? <laughs> oh my god, what century are you guys from? That nonsense was removed when my great, great, great grandpappy took the throne way back when. Oh, well, that's not right. The rainbow is the eternal symbol of Sky Garden. Bruce, keep calm. Wrong! <laughs> the rainbow field was the symbol of Clan Red, weakness, and degeneracy. The symbol of Clan Grey is the wayward star above a striped sea, a flawless emblem. The star stands for strength, <laughs> iron will, and the seizing of destiny made manifest, for we are one house under the gods, indomitable, with freedom and righteousness for all. <laughs> right. Right you are, my duke. Anyway, like, whatever. <laughs> Enough patriotism. Entertain me. You ready, Lapa? Ready as ever. Let's play Rat-Tailed Rover. That always goes down well. Sounds good to me. Follow my lead. When I say left, press left. When I say right, I press right. And so on for up and down. I know my notes. All right, on my mark. I'm scared. <laughs> Claps, claps, claps. The members of the court are amazed. Even Duke Josh can't help but smile. <laughs> Lol, that was great. Good job. <laughs> you received 15 seeds as a tip. Oh, yeah. Anton, how do you think Pocket's doing? Hey! That music's pretty good. <laughs> Wait a darn minute. I think I know this song. Ah, I can't remember the freaking song name. What's it called? Roaming Rodent or something? <clears throat> pocket found the pebble of Scoon. He adds it to his pockets. It's called Rat-Tailed Rover. Oh, that's it. Thanks, pal. Wait, what? <sighs> all right, all right. That's like enough. Not my usual jam, but I gotta say, you two like put on quite a show. Um, Mr. Duke Josh, sir. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt. Please don't be mad. Uh, there's been a robbery. The treasury's been ransacked. What? Colonel Hank said the culprit was like a jumping mouse or something. Uh-oh, we're going to get found out, Lapa. Keep your cool, babe. We can wiggle out of this. Robbed by one mouse. Classic Hank. <laughs> it's true that Hank's buffoonery knows no bounds. But still, even the boldest thief wouldn't dare to rob Sky Garden alone. If you want my counsel, Duke, there's something more going on here. A conspiracy? Oh, my God. <laughs> you, Harlequin, show me your tail. Uh, I'm very flattered, my lord, but you're not my type. Don't be weird. I mean your actual tail. There ain't much to see, Maduke. Just a tail. Don't disrespect me. Guards. Hey, get your hands off of me, you flea-bitten flag worshippers. Don't touch us. Take the mask off, too. No! <laughs> Our boy found out! Ah! Oh! That's interesting. <laughs> lol, 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 lol. Oh my god, look at his flaming tail. Yeah. Take it in, ladies and gents. So we're in the company of a very special guest, a squirrel of Clan Red. <laughs> I haven't had one of you fellas this far south in what, like a hundred years? Yikes. Hey, Duke, remember what the Calic told you? That thing about Rybear returning to take back his throne or whatever? <laughs> Shut up, lore master. This isn't Red Rybear, it's just a pair of prancing fairies. 
Maduke, we're not here to take anyone's throne. Please understand, I, I just wanted to see my home, see my heritage. My heritage? Ew, this is so cringe. Guards, take him to the dungeon. Lamia, ex execute them at dawn. You heard the Duke, you, got, you guys gotta move. Yes, I'll see you two in the morning, right around breakfast. Why would Pocket do that? I'm so confused. Cause, cause, because Pocket wants the credit. It's, it's classic thief stuff. <laughs> Oh, I don't want to be eaten. It's okay. We can get out of this. Will we, though? Shut it. Move it. What's this? New prisoners, Larry? <laughs> New prisoners, Larry? Yes, Captain Aiden, sir. Convicted by the Duke on grand larceny, degeneracy, and treason charges. Such a list, my oh my. And where are you taking them? I'm escorting both of them to cell 1D. Putting two friends together in the same cell? Larry, a basic mistake. Sorry, Captain. Um, so what do I do? Remember your ABCs from your training. Oh, yeah. Uh, C is for cage. Uh, yeah, cage and separate. Keep friends apart. You got it, man. Great job. Thanks, Captain. I must hand it to you. Your ethics are lacking, but your workplace professionalism, top notch. This one's lippy. Put him in 2E. With the dragon? She's kind of psycho, Captain. Exactly. She'll teach this one a lesson. I'm scared, Lapa. Hang in there, babe. We can find a way out of this. <laughs> That's all that Bruce can say. <laughs> Bruce keeps being like, babe, chill out. We'll figure it out. It's fine. <laughs> no touching. Get them out of here, Larry. Remember, confiscate their instruments. Y yes, Captain Aiden. <clears throat> This is the dragon? You should join our crew. <laughs> I don't know, I'm charmed by all of your piercings and your, and your uh, bad boy reputation. Well, 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 a fool enters the dragon's lair. I'm no fool. And you're no dragon, are you? I see no wings or scales. No wings, no. But even a grounded dragon has teeth and claws. <laughs> She's so cool, dude. I think we got off on the wrong paw. Let's start over. What are you in for? Same thing as you like. There's no place for queer folk in the free land of Sky Garden. But specifically. I hit on Blade Master Lamia. You're, you're talking about the full metal stoat? What can I say? She's got a great smile. She'd eat you given the chance. Ugh, gods, I wish. <laughs> it's just summer. <laughs> In any case, I thought she was one of us, but clearly I misread the situation. Because the next thing I knew, I was taking a steel gauntlet to the face. Hardest punch I've ever felt. Must be why they call her Lamia the Peerless. She did look pretty fierce. The name's Bruce, by the way. Gwenlian of something. The Hall of the White Gods. But Gwen is fine. Guess I should get comfy, enjoy my last meal or something. Yeah. Hey, you want to escape? Already? I've been sitting in here like a caged pet for a month, like. Your arrival is an opportunity, and I'm not wasting it. I'm breaking out. Today. I mean, yeah, escaping sounds great. But you're not going anywhere chained up like that. Right you are. Getting out of these shackles is step one of my three-step master plan. The Kashkin? Keep the key for this ball and chain nearby. If you fetch it, I promise to get you safely to the surface, tip for tap. Stealing a key from the guards. I might be able to do that. But this door is a problem. Think so? Give it a proper shove. <laughs> it actually opened. Yeah. The door locks rested through. Kachkin in uniform just haven't noticed. On that note, these idiots will be doing regular patrols. You're unarmed, so stay out of their line of sight. Got it. I'll be as quiet as a louse. Nab the key. Be back here before you can say hard time. That fool has spirit, but does he have skill? Hold on. <laughs> 
Did Gwen carve this? It flies freely. Save your game. My favorite Steam review for this game is LGBT Rat Berserk. <laughs> Hi, Octo. How are you, dude? Your game has been saved. An ensuite bathroom. Very fancy. Remnants of moldy breadcrumbs. A god-made shackle. It looks nigh unbreakable. All right. <clears throat> Let's go. What's the situation here? Oh my god. It takes that long for it to come back around. Ah! Okay. Damn. Give you a lot of time, huh? simple. Okay. <laughs> Gwen, look, I brought the... You're already free! You were taking too long and time is fleeting. Why did you send me out searching for a key if you could just free yourself? Oh, it was a test of your abilities and of your character. You passed both with flying colors. Sure, but uh, how? Oh, my leg comes off. What? My leg comes off. What? <laughs> okay, this conversation is getting tiresome, so let's move on. Step two, we're taking back our weapons. My glaive is being kept in a storage room on this floor. That's where your weapon is too, I bet. Right, my weapon. You did bring a weapon, like. Oh, well, not much of a warrior, but... I brought the tools of my trade. Cracking. We've still got to stay out of sight until we get our weapons, but from here on out, the Red Dragon will lead the way. Got it. I'll stay close to your tail. Gwen has joined the party! Woo! Save. Uh, okay. What's her sitch? Okay, interesting. <clears throat> Let's go. Oh, holy chocolate. Nice. I need that. Storage. <laughs> that freaked me out. This is it. The storage and the contraband room. And this. Ugh. Is my glaive a fierce weapon, specialty of White Hall? It features a 15 centimeter grooved grip for maximum reach. The stainless steel material provides unparalleled hardness and durability. And of course, the crescent curved blade more than sharp enough to cut through anything that moves. You sure like your weapons. We all have hobbies. Where's yours? Here we are. It's a flute. Made of wood. I think. I see. Is it a gun flute? <laughs> Don't underestimate the power of music. The right melody can thaw a frozen heart or tame a fierce titan. So, what is step three of your master plan? 
We bash in some guard skulls and walk out the front door. Whoa, I'm not bashing any skulls. I'm a bard. I'm not a fighter. Is that a principal thing or a oh, soft boy thing? I believe that all this violence gets us nowhere, and if we treat each other with kindness and respect, the world would be a nicer place. Uh, okay. I think I understand. I'm gonna kindly, respectfully, show the guarding the lift, the e the lift, the edge of my blade. No dissuading you, is there? I'll lend support in my own way by tooting your flute. I hope it'll be enough for whatever we face, but let's move. Remember your ABCs. Aim high, be proactive, cage and separate friends. <laughs> Contraband food and alcohol. Someone's already raided the good stuff. Dice and playing cards. You've seen incredibly lewd magazine. Read it. <laughs> Amazing. What have you got there? Smut. What do you think, Bruce? Left or right? It's going to have to be left for me. How about you? Oh, I'd never choose. It'd be like only ordering one pastry from the menu of one of them fancy myriad and cafes. Not that I've ever been, but once we break out, like... Right, I understand. Enough perving, let's mosey. Is this a weapon or a god toy? You can't tell. A book titled The Rat of War by Sun Shrew. <laughs> LGBT rat berserk, they were right. An effigy, seemingly God-made. The features are exaggerated to the point of caricature. I love that we're saving on a Bratz doll. Let's go. Woohoo! Your game has been saved. Oh. Hello. How did you escape? Don't worry about it. Let's fight. Shield break, sword break, stab. Ooh. Uh, okay. Go, babes. Hey, Gwen. Yeah? Not to pry, but what were you doing in Sky Garden in the first place? I left my birth town a while back. It wasn't my scene like. Since then, I've been searching for a place to call home. I heard Sky Garden was the city of opportunity. I wanted to see it for myself. But you only found a city of scumbags. That's putting it lightly. But hey, if the Kashkin here think I'm some sick, twisted dragon, I'll show them a dragon. <laughs> My turn to pry. You wear a mask to hide who you are. I'm a squirrel of, red, of Clan Red. But you've already been outed. Why bother with the mask? It's like you're ashamed of who you are. Ashamed? Of course I'm ashamed. How am I supposed to stand proud when the mere sight of my face gets me locked up? You're going to lock you up either way. Isn't it better to go down with your tail out and your teeth bared? Long lived! <laughs> One C, I think, is where our boyf is. Oh, never mind, it was D. This is Anton's cell. Your boyfriend? Anton, can you hear me? Bruce? You're breaking out already? Just a sec. Gwen. Can you bust down this door? The noise would alert every guard in the prison. You're strong, you can take them. You flatter me, but no. Better idea, the guard captain will have a master key and if we beat him up, we can open every cage in this catch -a hole The guard captain? The lanky twat in the big coat. Oh, that one. I did see him on the way in. All right, sit tight, Anton, we'll be back. Stay safe, Lapa. Bum, 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 
Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Tried to squeeze past us. I did. Ads approacheth now! Apparently, the little rogue threw his friend under the carriage and made off with the stone. Never trust a rat. I think it was a Jaboa. Same difference. Ah, the dragon freak is loose. Told you we should have taken her legs. Bruce, play some fight music. I'm on it. Let's go! Bop it, bop it, bop it, bop it, bow. Bop it, bop it, bop it, bop it, bow. Okay, after this fight, remind me to pause <laughs> so the ads don't kill us. Same thing. You guys knew that her legs were prosthetics and you still chained her up by her legs? Okay. <laughs> Who am I to say, huh? <laughs> it wasn't in the ABCs, you're absolutely right. No! Shield break this guy? I don't think so. Ka Chow! Heal yourself, bud. Mm hmm. That's why. No, bros! They're smart enough to target the healer. So. I'll give them that. Dear Captain Aiden, as per your request, I have translated the operating instructions for the weapon code named Rex. Here's hoping it isn't all bark. It isn't all bark and no bite. Regards, Plague Master Aquila. Super quick break. Um, we only have an hour left of stream, so we'll just run a couple of ads. Uh, so if you need to pee super quickly, go for it. I'll be right back.
All right, we're good. We're good, we're free. Free. <laughs> free, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. Yeah, I knew somebody was gonna be like, free to exact vengeance on he who imprisoned me. It is the curse of the lamp, all the power in the universe, and I'm bound by the rules of the genie! Oh, which means I can't kill that upstart lad unless I have someone arrange it for me. Take me to Agrabah at once! Back to the game. get up there. Not like that, I guess. Oh. Here we go. Oops. by hard lads. Alright, let's go. Noise. All right, the stop is sky guarded. Well, almost sky guarded. Put your walking boots on. Can't get us any closer. No can do, the gray squirrels are vicious, dude. I had a mate who violated their airspace and the squirrels shot it down like a magic missile. No warning shots, just, just pew! Dead, dude. That's horrible. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I better split. I've got a couple other jobs booked. Makes sense, birds gotta eat. Exactly, birds gotta eat! I'll drop by tomorrow morning if you need a lift. Stay safe out there, mouse gang. Thank you, Dizzy. You too. Zoob. All right. Oh! The gloaming woods. For gilded Roy, so feared were he that Kristoff sought his head. But sly Roy took his chance to flee afore the charge was read. <clears throat> the game has been saved. Fantastic. Hi. Which rodent stole the precious thing? Jabari. Jabari, and who shall be the trickster king? Jabari, Jabari. Well, we didn't need to go there, did we? We're trying to go to the gloaming woods. So I assume the game's gonna be like, go to the woods, dude. Uh-oh, oh no. <clears throat> it's one of these, okay. Oh, thank you for reminding me. Yeah, better weapon. We love it. Plus one to attack, plus five to guard. Yeah, that's what we got. Okay. What's up with this place? Every road looks the same. Maybe we should go back and ask for directions. Nah, that's not my style. Okay, right, up, nope. Right, left, nope. Right, down. 
Okay, right, down, right. Oh! Son of a bitch. <laughs> That's okay, I can feed my spider friend pieces of you, which now that I'm thinking about it is kind of fucked up. Get out of the box, you little twerp. <clears throat> what does overclock do? Boost Siobhan's next fire attack, sure. It's a mimic, yeah. Oh! That's what I'm talking about, Siobhan! That was great! Oh, he spit. <laughs> He's so cool. Gross, why'd you do that? To feed my spider friend. <clears throat> okay. Right, down, okay. <laughs> right, oops, oops. Down. Up? Nope. It's such a classic thing. Right? Down. <clears throat> Down. Nope. Right. Down. Left. Right. Down. Left. Down. Nope. <clears throat> right, down, left, right. No! I keep waiting for it to do that, and it's not doing it, right? Down, left. <gasps> oh my gosh. That's what that, that's what that sign was. You switch directions to go to get things. Oh my goodness, I'm just realizing this. Okay. Right down, left, left. Yeah, the conspiracy guy, right? Down, <clears throat> left, up, right. Right, down, left, up, right, up. <gasps> oh. And this is the Ashen Tower. Sure looks like it. What's with this boulder? It's blocking the entrance. Siobhan, help me shift it. Looks pretty heavy, Sir Verm. There's no way we could budge it alone. Let's go back to Sky Garden. Maybe we could get some help. All the way back? Ugh. This whole trip through that damn maze was a waste of time. Not a total waste. Look. You found a cloak buried in dust beneath a charred tree root. Well, that's something, I guess. W what is it? Someone strayed from the path. Plus seven. That's for you, dude. Mm -hmm. Visiting time. All right. Yeah, this guy. Find plate armor for 20 seeds. I'll take it. I intend to. Yeah, can I wear that? Hefty but unbreakable.
Interesting. All right, we'll figure that out. You see, Evan, what it all comes down to <clears throat> is domination. It's like the best feeling, the ultimate pleasure, comfort, freedom, security. Sky Garden's got it all. And the best part is, like, the people want to be dominated. <laughs> like, sure, they whine, they complain, they make up words for you like colonizer and fascist. But deep down, people don't want to think about their problems. They want to be controlled. I'm just doing everyone a favor. That is my burden as the dominator. Uh, right, lol. <laughs> what did I ask? What's this, more entertainment? They aren't on the schedule. All right, what do we have here? A fancy mole and a raggedy mouse. It's a pleasure to meet your acquaintance, my duke. My name is Lady Siobhan of Siobhan. Ew, weird name. <laughs> Spare the intros, cut to the chase. I'm looking for the yellow god of death. I heard some Kallic of the Ashen Tower can help me find him, and I want directions. Death gods, Kallax, I don't know. Does that ring any bells, Lore Master? <laughs> Lol, yeah, obviously, as a matter of fact. Nope, no bells. Our memories are, like, so foggy. Maybe the fog could be cleared with a small tribute to the throne. You know, if you, like, catch my drift. A bribe? Do we look rich to you? I don't know, bro. Bet that thingamajig on your back is worth a pretty seed. My sword? Yeah, are you gonna pay tribute? <laughs> no. The sword is mine and mine alone. Keep your grubby paws off of it. Show some respect, little mouse, or someone might get eaten. You're Skygarten's blade master, right? Can't say I've met a stoat before, much less fought one. Funny, I've killed thousands of your kind. Chill out, you two. Oh my god, chill out. I don't want to get blood on the throne room floor. Ugh. <laughs> Tell you what, Mouse, you've got spunk, and I like it. I've got what? So, Evan here will tell you where to find the Calic free of charge. Uh, won't you, Evan? Uh, uh, oh. Oh, uh, yeah, I got you, Duke. <laughs> Lol. Okay, right, so head southeast of here, go in the gloaming woods, it's like a maze or whatever. So to find the exit, you gotta follow the winds. I know, yeah, I already figured that much out. Oh, you did? Yeah, when I got to the dead tree, there was a big boulder in the way, so I couldn't get in. Oh, <laughs> that sounds like a you problem. Great, well, cheers for that. Barrel of help you've all been. This trip was a fantastic use of my time. Sir Verm, stop. Thank you for your time, Duke Josh. Oh, it's like nothing. Just go. What a pair of dummies. <laughs> now, where were we? Oh, yeah. The best pleasure. Domination, dude. <laughs> is that truly the best pleasure, Duke? For some, nothing is more pleasurable than a full belly in the company of friends. Is that so? I'm too smart to be robbed twice in one day. Get out of here. I don't know. There's a little save thing back there. Hmm. You got anything else? Nope. Okay. I'm not doing anything, dude. I'm just trying to go down the road. Do you hear that? Music? It sounds familiar. You don't think. Bruce? Bruce. Coming from the dungeons. Oh no, what happened to him? 
Where does the Harlequin and his pals tried to pull a fast one on the Duke? Thieves get the death penalty, you know. No chance for clemency. So, he's performing his last concert. Oh, that's awful. Yeah, it is. But it's not our problem. Not our problem? Bruce helped us get through the labyrinth. Only after lying to us about the danger. He's a worm. But he's a friend. I barely know him. Not my fleas, not my circus. I'm leaving. Ah! I'm not running away. Sir Verm? Are you sure you're okay? Am I? Yeah, of course. Are you sure you're, you're shaking? You don't look okay. I'm fine. I just realized you've got a point, that's all. And we should break annoying clown out of prison because we might need his help to climb the Ashen Tower. You're a hard one to read, Sir Verm. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> I don't know what you mean, dude. Save. Blah, 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 blah. We're visiting an inmate. Visiting hours are over, bud. Unless you're willing to pay a small tribute. All right, I'll pay tribute. I'll attribute a sword to your face. What? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I guess we're just we're just fighting. We're fighting now. Let's go. Woo! It's tribute time. I'm not wrong, right? They're all using cocktail swords. Right? <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah! 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 Oh, this man's about to die. Boosh. Certainly is noisy today, and a noisy environment is a bad work environment. Where's that aggressive flute music coming from anyway? A breakout! <laughs> a break in! <laughs> Bruce! Oh, Siobhan and Verm, to think I'd see you here of all places. Friends of yours? Something like that. This is Gwen, she's good at stabbing. Say no more. What are, your, what are your orders, Captain? Larry, inform the Blade Master of the situation. I'll start up. That. That? Surely not that. Captain, it's too dangerous. The programming is unpredictable. Just go. Quickly. What? Don't let him... Ah, shit. Look at you all. A bunch of freaks and degenerates playing with little god toys. You know nothing about the capabilities of real god weapons. And you do. Clan Grey has been utilizing god tools for eons. We know the devastating power that a real divine weapon can unleash. You see, the gods in their wisdom crafted automated sentinels, mechanized titans with armored shells outfitted for warfare. The shrew Zavinium captured one, and now we use it as the ultimate prison guard. You're bluffing. Yeah, automated sentinels? Mechanized titans? That kind of technology doesn't exist, godly or not. You want a demonstration. I would be more than happy to oblige. Uh-oh. I don't know what I was expecting. Some kind of toy, for sure. I wasn't expecting this, though. It's so good. Oh, my God. All right, let's go. Um, I think we should focus. Let's find out if robots bleed. All right, time to do all of our preparatory work. She'll break on this idiot. ka -chow. Um, I will give Encore to Verm. Because he's currently raging. Let's go. Cleave this man. Ooh. Ah! Okay, yeah, we definitely want to kill him first.
Bye. Come on, man. Also defend. We'll just all defend here. Ah, I'm glad we did. Nice. Hell yeah. I knew it. That thing was nothing but a toy. The blade master and her cat. I still don't know how to say that. We'll be here any second. We need to get out of here now. Well, wait a second. Bruce found the jailer's key ring. Look, Gwen, one of these is the key we need. Let's go get Anton. Bruce, there's no time. Are you serious? I'm not going to leave him. I don't know what's going on, but the stab rat's right. This prison is a dead end. Once we get cornered, we're slaughtered. Then, then I'll die by Anton's side. Let's go, Bruce. Damn. I didn't know you had that sort of bravery in you, Bruce. But, sorry, promised I'd get you to the surface in one piece, and I'm keeping that promise. Uh, hey! Stop pushing me! We should go, too. Right. Oh, no! Poor Anton, though! Wait! Poor Anton! Can we go back? Herm, this is no time for exploring. Oh, no! We have to save Anton! Uh-oh, we probably should have saved. Oh, well. <gasps> Here she comes! All clear. No sign of the escapees, Blade Master. Maybe they're still in the dungeon. Or maybe they've already fled. Excuse me, sweeping one. Has anyone passed through here? Hmm. Ain't seen nobody but Maya. Maya? Yep. Maya Bruma! Shit. You shouldn't lie, rat. Insincerity taints the flesh. It ruins the flavor. See, I have a hunger, a deep hunger, a howling void in the pit of my stomach. And it's not a hunger that can be satiated by a foul, petty liar. But then again, food is food. Uh, Blade Master? Blade Master, the prisoners? Blade Master? <sighs> Lower the portcullis. Double the watch on the battlement. Sky Garden is in full lockdown. Code Rose. No one leaves or enters the tree until this mess is resolved. What if the prisoners have already escaped? 
then Captain Aiden will be tried for his failure. As will you, Larry. Oh, no. <laughs> it's the correct reaction to puns. Doesn't look like we're being followed. We should be safe out here. All the sun and warmth. I forgot how bright it is outside. Bruce, are you all right? No. This was supposed to be a great day. And everything's gone to shit. And Anton's gonna die. I'm sorry. It's fine, Gwen. It's not your fault. Maybe if I were a little braver. If I were a real fighter. Bruce... Hey, uh, Verm, Siobhan, what are you doing here anyway? Well, on our way to the Ashen Tower, it's home to the Kallik who can help Sir Verm on his quest. Quest? Oh, right, I'd better fill you in. This mad lad wants to kill a god. That's pretty gutsy. Pretty stupid, more like. Whatever, it's all moot right now. I'm following a bad lead. You said you're going to the Ashen Tower. Do you know it? Not personally, but... From my cell? I often overheard the Kachkans gossiping. There was some whisper of the Duke once making a pilgrimage. That's all I know. So the Duke himself visited the Kallik. Maybe the lead is legit after all. I wonder why the Duke went. What did he want to know? He probably wanted to ask the secret to being the worst bastard in the world. Most likely, the Duke's an absolute pussball of a rodent. I bet he smokes to cover the smell of his own farts. Siobhan, where did you learn to speak like that? Why is everyone looking at me? She came up with that filth all by herself. Thanks, all. I needed some levity. Sorry to cut this short, but I need to reach the Ashen Tower before dusk. So, Siobhan and I are going to get going. Verm, wait. I know it's a long shot, but the Kallik might be able to help me. She might know some way to rescue Anton or something. Can I join you for your trip? Of course you can, Bruce! Thanks. I want to come too, if it's okay with the rest of you. I'm curious about what lies at the heart of the Ashen Tower. And besides, I want to learn more about this god-killing business. Dude. Oh, whatever. The more the merrier. To the gloaming woods. Yay! Full party! Full party! Oh! <gasps> the sisters! Come on, Maisie. Keep up. So far from Merida. Are you sure we're going to the right we're going the right way, Rosie? You remember the intel we gathered from these cheese breathed rats? The pawball lads, remember what they said? Get lost, tin heads? After that. I know, the vagabond and the noble mole went to the gloaming woods. Right. So, we're losing the evening light. Let's go. Uh, hey, wait up. Save! Full party! Level everyone up! It's the Scissor Sisters, yeah! <laughs> it is the Scissor Sisters. I didn't call them that. No one come for me, okay? If you weren't here when they called... The game called them that, okay? Sure, I guess. Increase max by one. Ooh! Yes! Absolutely. Rally recovers three for each party member. Shield break and sword breaks effects last one extra turn. Rally. Is that an ability I'm gonna get? I'll increase my attack. It seems worth it. Make sure everybody's got stuff. We all got stuff. We've all got stuff. Okay. Mm 
actually the game called them Scissor Maidens. Did it? <laughs> that is much better. All right. I don't know. How's Rat Berserk? Pretty good. We've got a full party. <laughs> I know. Um, yeah, so you can come for me. Yeah. Go for it. Do it. Uh, what was I going to say? <clears throat> Hiya. Oh, we've got 20 minutes left. I don't know if I want to start, like, the next part. You know? We'll get, like, 10 more minutes. And this is, like, a pretty natural... We could secret hunt in the maze. That is a great idea. Let's bring up the picture. Did I hear you're playing hardcore WoW? No. Benji created a character that was named after me. Um... If that's, if that's what you heard. <laughs> but no, I am not playing hardcore WoW. Zero desire. Okay, let's see. So, there was this, and we did find that. Then there was da, da. Right down. Right. Oh, different chest. Oh, 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 oh my goodness. Okay. Right. Right is another chest. Okay. I was like, oh my gosh, the chest. <laughs> There's a new spider in the chest. That's weird. <gasps> found a pen lance. For who? Oh, yeah, dude. Okay, cool. So the last one is... Oops. Okay, the last one is right, down, left. Right, down, left. Oh! <gasps> Wait! Where did Sir Vern and Lady Gwen just go? I heard a song about the gloaming woods once. They're said to be cursed. They spin you round and round. Let's wait a moment. They'll backtrack. That makes sense. Hey, Bruce. I'm worried about Sir Verm. Worried? The lad looks healthy to me. He is, but there's something wrong. It's like he throws himself into things. Too much of himself. Uh, like he, he wants to find and, and slay this yellow god, but... I think he'd be fine dying in the process. Ah, uh, I see what you mean. The lad does have a raw recklessness about him. When people get hurt, they lash out, sometimes at others, sometimes at themselves. It's not an easy wound to treat. Damn it, where did Rosie go? Oh no! I hate this stupid, confusing forest. Oh, damn it! How did I get lost? I'm so stupid! Are you all right, lass? Oh, sorry I didn't see you there. I'm looking for my sister. Um, she's a little taller than me, has a scissor blade like mine. Have you seen her? Um, I can't say that we have. Okay, yeah, no worries. <laughs> Wait, you're a mole. And you're nobility. This one isn't a mouse. You two wouldn't know anything about a vagabond mouse, would you? <laughs> no, doesn't ring any bells, sorry. Oh, okay. No worries, then. Pretty smooth talking, Siobhan. I wonder what a thimble guard was doing all the way out here. You and Verm must be building quite the reputation as wanted outlaws. Oh, oh no. Should I be worried? Wait, we lost someone. Or two. Bruce and Siobhan. I didn't even see them wander off. How is that possible? They were right on my tail. Speaking of tails, I don't want to pry, but I do notice that yours is missing and all. So what? I'm not judging. I'm missing parts, too. Must be tough to walk without a tail, let alone swing a sword. I cope just fine. 
So I see. Where did Maisie go? A vagabond mouse, but no mole, I wonder. You too. Thimbleguard, you're far from home. I'm looking for two rodents, if you could answer some questions. We don't have to answer to the likes of a crown worshiping Tinhead. Listen, I've had a long day, and I'm just not in the mood to feel petty insults. So, if you don't wish to talk civilly, I'll have no choice but to draw my sword. Bring it on. What do you say, Verm? I say she looks familiar. Haven't we met before? So we have. You're the mouse who helped Maisie earlier today, back at the palace. Ready to go and put me between a pebble and a hard place. <sighs> go, leave my sight. I'll tell the crown the rogue vagabond is nowhere to be found. Yes. Side quests are worth it. Oh, hey, there you are. Where did you go? These woods are cursed. That's what I said. Woods are cursed. Hey, listen. These woods are crawling with knights, crawlies, who knows what else. Let's just follow Verm closely. Gwen learned rally! Yeah! Right you are, Gwen. We're following. Oh, no. We had gone, and now up? Okay. And then a question mark. Up, and then up? Shit! Okay, not up. Right. Moon's haunted. Down. Left. Up. Left. It's the thing! Stay back, there's a worm ahead. Sir Verm, I think that's a slow worm. A slow worm? They're harmless, I think. Only one way to find out. Well met, travelers. You must be particularly inquisitive, rodents. For few are able to find me, and fewer still dare approach. Probably because you're a venomous worm. Ah! <coughs> venomous! I am Seth, the friendly traveling wizard lizard, and I merely seek knowledge to expand the academic frontier. Oh, a boffin. Ah! A boffin! Well, in a matter of speaking, I suppose that descriptor isn't inaccurate. In any case, perhaps we can make an exchange. Teach me something I do not know, and I will pay you in return. Something you don't know? All right. Uh, krakens, you know, the mystical deep-sea denizens. They're poetic. Uh, krakens speak exclusively in rhyming verse. Oh, anything else? Was it an iambic octameter, too? Little rhyming couplets, perhaps? I don't know what that means. It means I find your claim outlandish, Mouse. You would have me believe this fabled cryptid not only exists, but that it is a poet. It's the truth. Take it or leave it. I'm afraid I can't entertain the idea. Nonetheless, I appreciate your attempt to share knowledge. Take this for your troubles. You receive a gur potion. Thank you for your wisdom. I will treasure it. Something unfamiliar is brewing. It smells like rose and honey tea with hints of lilac and pine resin. I wonder if you get something different if you talk about the other thing. Okay, let's save again. Cute. All right, perfect. That was a good suggestion. We found all the secrets in the woods. We can't go back and tell the guy, though. <laughs> we can't go back and be like, guess what? We found the wizard lizard. But that's okay. Slow worm, not a snake. A legless lizard. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll send him a letter. It'll be fine. Oh, my goodness. Good start. How long is this game? How long did we play it for? We played a little over four hours of this game today. I'll say because we, we um, you know, fuck around a little bit. We played like four hours. I'm curious how long it is. Judging by the tree... 
the like talent tree or whatever that you can fill out and the fact that there's no grinding in this game um i guess it depends on if it's intended that you fill out the whole tree or not or if you're supposed if like the direction that you go on the tree actually like makes a difference <laughs> Anywho, hey, thanks so much for watching, guys. Um, the stream tonight got canceled. Uh, it's thanks Thanksgiving holiday season sort of shit. Um, people are out of town and busy, so that's totally fine. Um, maybe maybe some week in the future we can get a crew together and, and play a thing. But um, in the meantime, <laughs> the worms. In the meantime, Raid Leader's open if anybody would like to grab it. Um, and let's see. 17 hours. That's too long. <laughs> Maka, thank you for the 11 months. Carry on Ghoul for the 25. Dane 1 for the 57. Star Scarf, Store Scarf for the 38. Mr. Eduful for the one year. Happy anniversary. Thank you very much. Nachos for the 66. Meld Iron Can for the 69. Uh, Scorpy for the gifted sub. Kira Rita for the 52,000 Diamond Man. Welcome to the Cat Gang. Thank you very much for subscribing. Disciple for the 35. Amarian for the gifted sub to Miana. Thank you. And Aiden Folks for the 30 months. Based on reviews, I'm seeing a lot of 9 to 10 hours of playtime. Okay, that's kind of what I'm assuming, is that we're not quite halfway through the game, so... Cool. Nice. Sick. Okay. <laughs> mm I will find someone. Baba. <laughs> Marine Mammal Rescue. Let's do that. Sorry, I got lost in the sauce. There you second. Marine Mammal Rescue. Yeah, it worked. <laughs> Whenever it's long, I'm like, I'm going to type this wrong. Okay, I'll see you guys tomorrow. We're going to play more Small Saga. Um, and I don't think there's anything going on tomorrow night either. But if that changes, I'll update the schedule. Um, I've been posting on uh, Instagram and TikTok. If, if you want to see some fun clips, um, a lovely person named Allie has been editing those. Um, so thank you so much, Allie. Um, and, and I, and I think that's it. Take care of yourselves. I'll see, I'll see, I'll see you guys in the future. Okay. Okay. Bye. <laughs>